And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. All right, Matt, are you ready to battle? Because this is the first time you and I are going to face off live on air. Not the face t- first time we faced off, because I will say to the people, since launch, what, a week ago, Kickstarter launch, um, we've played some 1v1, we've played some 2v2, some like, <laughs> some thrown together like a uh, uh, sort of... <laughs> made it work 2v2 on my crappy Mac and, and the internet. And you... it's cool. it but cool. it's been a lot of fun, and uh, I'm excited to get some games in tonight, guys. We're not going to go super in-depth, but we're going to have some fun and play some Soul Forge Fusion. Um, it's Monday night, and Lyle is not here, and there are not old ones haunting us tonight, Matt. So I am here, and I've we've done two streams so far. We did our Kickstarter launch stream, and we did our... Whoa, thank you for the 32 months, Drew. Good to have you back, dude. Good to have you, buddy. Um, we've done two streams. We played pre-Kickstarter and saw the game in TTS and learned the game and got into it. We did a Kickstarter launch day thing where they added more cards, tweaked the mod, made it better, had fun with it. We played some games. Now we're here a week after launch. Uh, we can jump over here really quick and take a quick look. They are at... 1,279 backers and 166,000 in. Woo! So, pretty successful Kickstarter, I'd say, right? 16 more days to go. Um, What are your... What are your... So, so I have to... Pre- this is what I wanted to preface. This is what I wanted to preface before Matt and I jumped into some games. So, with Keyforge that came out, Matt, around this week, actually, right? Gen Con... Yeah. Four years? Was it four years ago? I think so. I think that sounds right. Four years ago would be my guess. It was before Keyforge was out yet. You played Keyforge at Gen Con. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you were like, this is awesome. And told Lyle and I, you got to play this. And we had yeah. to figure out how we were going to play this game. And our next thing was TwitchCon was coming up, and we were able to jump on it and go check it out pre-release of Coda, which was insane. So we have to thank you for that, that we got into Keyforge, and you addicted us to Keyforge. Now we're trying to addict you to Soulforge. <laughs> Right on, man. Right on. <laughs> so, yeah. so what yeah. are your? So now, Matt. I mean, we always want to bring in Sensei Sice. Sensei Sice has been playing Magic and all the likes of all the games for a long time, more than Lyle and I have. So, I'm I'm wanting to get your now having played the game, seen where it's going, seen it develop a little bit, seen the changes even in the last week. How are you feeling about Soulforge Fusion, dude? What is what are you excited about? Cool. What am I excited about? Uh, I I mean, I think it's it's really cool. You know, um. Hearing when I first heard about it, and and I heard this like long before talking to you guys. One of my other buddies who I game with mentioned something, and he's like, "Yeah, there's some stuff. It's kind of something like keyboards." And honestly, when I first heard him just say the name and, and mention it, I, I didn't really think much of it because I'd kind of been a little bit burned out on keyboards, like lack of a local group. And I was like, "There's a lot of cool stuff to keyboards, but there's some stuff I'd stepped away a bit." So didn't think of it much, right? Yeah. Um, and then I can't remember if it was like I, I caught a video or something, or it was just one of those days. He's like, "You want to try it out?" I was like, sure, I'll try it out. You know, we'll see. We'll see how like random it feels, um, because that was my concern. I was like, you know, you get these decks pre-generated. Is it just gonna feel random? Is it just gonna feel like who opened the most amber pips, who has the most steel, but in the form yeah. of a new game? So, we sit down to play it, and I just start like looking at my hand, and I'm like, okay, well, let me kind of throw out some things. Well, I can see how this could be good now. I wonder like what it looks like later. Let me take a look at the card upgrading. I was like, oh, this is pretty sweet. So I just started like throwing stuff out and feeling like. It feels like there's some like really pretty cool, meaningful choices in here. Um, so after one game, I was thinking about it a lot, and I was like, well, was it just fun because it was novel and it was new? So I went and played another game, and it was like legitimately fun and cool. felt like it was like meaningful choices. So yeah, so far, that to me is what the big thing about the game. It's like I feel like the plays I make matter. The two, three, maybe four cards I play a turn matter. So... Um, I like it, man. I think it's cool. I've always liked like lane combat type games. There's a touch of like my favorite card game ever, which is Conquest. Yeah. Where you where you put stuff in lanes was huge. So that's my initial thoughts on it. Yeah, yeah. No, that's 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 exactly what we like. I mean, the discoveries there. Um, you said you know the the few cards you play there, the speed is there. I think the timing is there. Uh, we, I mean, these. What's cool is like, like we just said. Even today, uh, Shadow, big sh- shout, a shout out to Shadow over at Stoneblade Entertainment, who's been working on this mod consistently, adjusting the algorithm, changing things up. I mean, we were talking about a called card called Botanist in our Discord, 
and already, and we were excited over it, and they've already discussed it and nerfed it <laughs> because of just hearing feedback. I mean, I'm assuming we're not the only ones they heard that feedback from. They're testing it inside in the house. Other people are giving feedback, but the game is still in development, guys. And Matt, you brought up a point when we were playing before that, although this is in development, you felt like it's actually feeling pretty solid uh, in this current state, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the games I've played, um, they haven't felt like there there were these like big swingy things that happened that like I didn't have control of. Like my opponent just had some bomb card that I didn't have an answer to. You know, usually it was stuff that was like there were some intense moments, but yeah, I, I could have played it differently, or maybe I let something not be addressed that should have. And like for a game this early in in kind of its uh, development, I mean, it's it feels pretty cool, man. It feels feels good yeah you may be if, if anyone's been playing matt may be referencing the drix mistake that i made in our 2v2 match and decided to not kill the drix <laughs> and yeah, almost buried we, <laughs> we both thought we could wait a turn which is why later in that game when the level three reared his ugly head yeah we killed i handled him, him. <laughs> yeah it died <laughs> but no that's exactly right and we ended up winning that game actually i mean you know, here and there we had some rules questions and a lot of things that we're looking to get clarified, uh, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But no, what, you're right. What totally felt was like right after that turn, we both sat there looking at each other. Because there's two guys, we're not going to get deep into the 2v2 mode, but it is fun. It is awesome. There's a lot of conversations that happen. But we started looking at each other going, that decision is impactful. And now we need to start changing our strategy like right we need to pivot <laughs> like we need yeah. to pivot like right now and we sort of yeah. did and we were able to to bring it back um but yeah your decisions matter every single decision yeah. feels like it matters and it doesn't feel like you're you're buried right um right. um it doesn't feel like we're getting steamrolled it feels like we can look into something now i've only played sealed have you only played sealed decks like just random decks every time or have you have yeah you done more or less like sometimes I'll grab something of a specific color out, but it okay. won't be like I'll, I'll hand choose anything. Right. It'll be like, oh, I want to do purple and green this time. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So basically, yeah. I mean, there's there's what's so great is that because this is in development and like we just said, the the Kickstarter's been live. I mean, it's still live right now, guys. You got 16 days. Soul Forge Kickstarter exclamation point Soul Forge Kickstarter in the chat will bring you to this Kickstarter play page. If this looks like something you want to get into or something you want to ask questions about. Please do ask. I see Stoneblade is in chat. Good to have you, Stoneblade. They'll be, they, they're always great uh, hopping in here, asking questions. Thank you so much for your support. Um, and thank hello to all the other campers, too. I don't think I gave an official hello to everybody in there. Dragon Cat, Drew Yemen, the Guardian subbing as well. Thank you so much, guys. Not Don't mean to look past you. Um, I'm just, we're just excited because I want to get some games in tonight before we have to go. Reld, thank you so much, man, right there. Woo, he says. Um, uh, there, there's so many cool things happening here, and the development in this is so awesome that Matt and I, after each of our games or even before the games, we're sitting here talking about all these aspects, and I just passed. Um, there's Justin Gary right there, looking, looking rad, um, uh, with Richard Garfield. He's going to be at Gen Con this week. Speaking of Gen Con, we mentioned it earlier. He's going to be there, and he's going to have decks with him. And I've been told that if you find him and ask to get in on a game, that you may have a chance to play this physically at Gen Con this week. So, congratulations to all those going to be there. Sick. But. Um, there's 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 a lot to talk about in this. I mean, there's a lot from the, the gameplay to the experience to the algorithmic stuff um, to everything. We've even talked about how this is going to price out in organized play events, which is still in development. They haven't even announced that stuff officially, but it that's how excited I am about it, right? That's how excited it's gotten me, the gameplay we've done, right? I, I mean, it's fun, man. It's fun. It's fun. So. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I just want to get into the game because I want to talk about this as we play, guys. Because we'll rather than just talk everyone's ears off, I will say we owe a lot of support spins and everything for you guys. Um, and I'm going to hold on to that. And we're going to do that probably this week. I'm going to owe probably a million burpees, which I already owe, uh, and all that stuff, the support payments. Um, we're going to do some of that maybe tomorrow because I might play another Richard Garfield title, Rogue Book, to finish that run. <laughs> so it's just basically Richard Garfield quick history from now on. And then the next day we're going to play King of Tokyo. And then the next day we'll play Magic the Gathering. And then the next day. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I will say before we jump into this first game, guys, um, if you're interested in the 2v2 mode, Matt and I will be joining Stoneblade, sitting in chat right there. We're going to be hopping on twitch.tv slash Stoneblade on Wednesday night at, I believe, uh, what was it, 7 p.m. or about 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, which is going to be 5.30 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. Matt's time over Mountain Time? Mountain Time, right? 
Um, yep. So 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be joining the Stoneblade crew, and we're going to be playing the 2v2 mode over on their channel uh, and diving deep into it, man, because that mode is fun. That mode was great. It feels interesting. It feels different. It feels crazy. That's <laughs> what it feels like. But yet, you still know what's going on. So that, I can't wait to play in person. But um, Stoneblade says, we will be posting where Justin is going to be during Gen Con later this week. So stay tuned to Stoneblade Int, um, E-N-T, on Twitter, and you'll get that information from Stoneblade. Right on. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So let's get into this. It's time for some Soulforge Fusion. I can't wait to play some games, dude. Um, we'll get some tabletop audio music rocking. And yeah, I hope everyone gives Stone uh, uh, Soulforge a, a try. Uh, the mod is free, exclamation point, Soulforge mod in chat will bring you to this mod here. And this is the most recent update. We're going to do a quick start, and so we're going to play kind of blind. You ready to go, Matt? Yeah. All right, game one, dude. Let's go. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to blow through all the chitty chats. I just am trying to avoid talking to Matt for hours about everything we keep already talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to get into this gameplay. If you have any questions, please ask them. Um, I'm happy to blow things up, make things bigger. Uh, all that good stuff, but Matt, what are your two choices here in the random quick start? Um, I got. Uh, are, you, are you asking the the colors, the yeah. names of my? I see my it's dudes? green and blue. I see it's green and blue. But who is your? All that good stuff. Oh, Shadow, thank you for the follow. My my deck names. So I have Ironbeard running the Collections Sparkling Flames deck, or I have Nova, the Nodding Primordial Kings so deck. Strong. Oh, okay. Uh, Oh, welcome for the thanks for the sub shadow, the one, the the only, the one behind the algorithm and the mod here. Thank you so much, Shadow Man. It's looking good, looking good as always. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Sweet. What are you looking at? Um, I'm looking at uh, what are the red? Uh, I always forget what their names are called here, so I'm still getting used to what the factions are actually the Forge Born. So I've got Tempest, and I've got Necrium. So I've got red and purple. You're blue and green. Nice. So you're Alolan. Yutera. We've got all four colors going here, dude. On, right on. Yeah, we got all four colors. Um, who's gonna lead your team, Matt? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. I guess I have. It looks like I have the. Yes. The forge, so, and you okay, have okay. The forge. Okay. I'll show you. I'm. I'm gonna play Nova. And okay. if it's all right with you guys, I'm gonna put her here and blow her up a little because we started playing this way after like Bill suggested it in our. Uh, in our Discord, and I really like having it here. It helps me remember to use it in the way that up here, there are times I forget. Sure. So um, I'm going to Nova because uh, I don't know if I've run like a, a green um, Uterra uh, Forgeborn like yet. So okay. I I want I like I like what I'm looking at here. Yeah, replace one creature with a Wisp, summon an Oak Father. Oh, we all love those Oak Fathers with the breakthrough. It's annoying 8-8. Eight, eight. Give yep. up two of your creatures, okay. Okay, cool. Hell, we go. Oh, and Lyle's in chat. What up, Lyle? Lyle's out, yeah. wandering, wandering the world. What's going on, <laughs> man? We got. Can't wait to get some more games in with you, man. Can't get. Got to. We got to get good. This is Matt and I practicing to take on Stoneblade. Um. So Matt's gonna rock a green deck. Um. Your green, blue. I'm purple, red. Purple guys are brutal. I haven't played a lot of purple. I mean, discard a card, play a one creature from your discard pile for free. Um. Interesting. Never seen that before. Stack creature play a creature from your hand for free zombie brutes you and one of your creatures get five hmm five armor Ooh, we got the gathering storm do damage to creatures or play a spell i think i'm gonna go purples dude i'm gonna put it here just so people can see it but i agree with you um that i feel like doing the the middle section will be a lot more fun physically okay yeah okay cool so this is my benched forgeborn and it's time to play dude you ready I'm hitting setup. Boom, it's setup time, guys. Here we go. 1v1, we're gonna get our five cards. It's red purple versus green blue. Oh, and my name of my deck is the Fortitude Kings. So uh this is my uh swing band from the from nineteen ninety seven when I was touring with the squirrel nut zippers. <laughs> and and with me being the nodding primordial kings, I guess it's just like, you know, <laughs> oh, the yeah. battle royalty. The who would be the king? The king slayer. Yeah. Okay, let's go, dude. Let's go. So you've got let's the Forge, go. and uh, you're playing the first card, man. Yeah. Let's see, these are yeah. all going to be new cards to us, guys. These are all new decks that Shadow has imported in here. So we're going to be doing some reading here. Dude, it, my hand's cool, but, like, I wish I wasn't on the Forge. And not because I know you like going second. I, I mean, I, I think second's game is great, too. But 
my hand's a more reactive hand. So we're going to do something just kind of, you know, potentially somewhat, somewhat boring. We're just going to throw out your boy, the Shifting Slayer. This one's new to me. I haven't, I haven't seen him before. Dude, neither have I. Dude, he, this guy goes up to a 12-14 on level 2 from a 0-7. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. And, nice. and that third row being a 14-10 makes me wonder what that looks like, too. Uh, yeah, that's pretty... That's a big boy, man. Um, okay. Okay, I gotta yep. look... Let, let's see. We gotta see if we get any free cards here, right? <laughs> this is the whole, the whole thing here. Um, what is he? A 07? Interesting. Okay. Okay. A 07. Um. Interesting. How am I gonna... Do I stick with this team? Okay, so I'm gonna come out. You've got a 07 on the forge. Um, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put this guy in your way back here. I'm gonna put this veteran invocist out. If I activate him, I can play it. Uh, if I've played a spell this turn, I can deal two damage to a creature or player. Only if I've played a spell. Right. Yeah, so your little 07. Let's go, bro. Little 07. I'm a vet. I'm a veteran mm -hmm. and vocist. I've been doing this a while. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me see here. Let me see. Um, I guess. I'm like. I'm unsure. Yeah, I'm unsure, but I think ah, with this hand, I think I'm gonna go and drop a druid's chant, like um, on this dude to start. Like it's oh. it's it's not it's not too it's not the most spectacular opening I've had, but I'm gonna gain health, I'm dude. Gonna see how it plays out. Yeah, you're gain. No, go. Yep, yep. Um. You gain okay, so you're just gonna start making big boys. So you're gonna mill me. This is this is the goal here. You're gonna win the mill strat. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In session was just saying, yeah, I'm a, I've cut the side talk. So yeah, we're getting into the game, man. Oh great, druids chance get really good at level three to this shadow. Yeah, one of the interesting things when I was playing with Bill uh, this weekend too, the the one of the interesting ways of playing uh, uh, sealed right now is on these creatures. You can see what their upgrade path is, right? You can see the tree as it as it increases. The spells they don't tell you anything, so it's kind of like I think this will get better. <laughs> yeah. Like look. Like the spell well, can't get worse. Because like he he kind of spikes at level two. His level three actually loses some health and doesn't go up much. So that's it's interesting. We'll have to see how he feels because he's he feels like he's the most powerful level two. Yeah. He's just kind of annoying, dude. Um, okay, so I'm gonna play two spells because free cards are good. So I'm gonna play mm -hmm. Staff of Varus. I'm going to give a creature 5 attack. That'll be my guy here. My guy. So he's going to 10. Oh, jeez. Um, and then it says, if I play this on a mage, it's free. Free spells. So now I can play something else. Um, ooh, I want that whole... I want that whole value of this card. So maybe I'll actually change it up. Let's see. You don't get to go again after this, huh? That's what I. That's what I hear. I mean, I heard that too. I mean, I love this card, but I mean, this guy's cool and all. This guy's cool, you know. He's all right. Uh, I mean, this guy's cool too. I just feel like I'm. I want to. I want to use this. I'm just not getting full value, so it makes me sadness. Um, you know, these guys are still good, even without even without their upgrades. So I'm gonna play Om Nom Nom. To give this guy negative three, negative three. Okay. So okay. really, it's just his attack that's gonna matter because I'm gonna kill him off anyway. Yeah. But this Om Nom Nom card, dude, one of the favorite purple cards out there, as it gets bigger and bigger, because it it basically is direct removal and it spawns things. So, purple guys, purple guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you just made my creature. It's like I didn't even play a second card. No. Nope. So that was you. That was me. That was you, that was me. It's okay. So this is it. So we fight. Alright, well I get smoked. Yep, you get deaded, I move up. And uh, we end the turn, dude. Okay. Yep. I have the board. Alright, let's dude. see what else is in our deck. Let's see what else is in this deck. <laughs> let's, see if our, let's see if our initial strategies paid off, basically. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, I guess I could have done... Actually, because I played a spell, I could have done two damage to you by activating him. So, if you want to go to 51. I just forgot to uh, trigger that before the, the, the game turned there. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, says the kid. Says the cat. Um, I have the forge. Oh, really? Oh, I see combos, dude. You see a combo? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I missed. I should have. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Um, okay. We got defenders. Yeah, we were just about to remind me that. Yeah. Oh, Shadow got me. Who activates the Revocus? Not this guy. <laughs> He's so confident, says Mortavis. That's right. Um, so I'm going to play out. Um, okay. This is a creature. Okay, I can do this in one turn. All right, so what I'm going to play out is I'm going to play out this Spite Maiden. I'm going to put it over here, actually. I'm going to play out the Spite Maiden, and I may pay five health to play a spell for free. Matt, we always pay the health, dude. Yeah. We always play oh, the yeah. Warlocks. Like, absolutely. Yeah, so I'm going to play a free uh, level one spell. So I'm going to play... Dang, I didn't do this in the right order, did I? Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I should have... I wish I had one more thing. <laughs> Actually, whenever you remove health, that counts as wounding, right? I believe that's uh, the rule. So, like, if you reduce a creature rather than direct damage, does that count as wounding as long as you I left mean, the health? Know. You can ask them, but in most games, if you give something like minus X, minus X, that's not dealing damage. Dealing damage has to come in the form of a card that says deal three damage or like a creature strike. No, it does not. I actually have to take direct damage. Okay. Dang. Okay. Whatever. Um, wounded is less than printed health. Yeah, so if I give... Yes, wounded just means it has lower HP than the stats on the card says Stone yeah. Boy. So, okay, so here's yeah. the question. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is my level one spell, and I'm going to see if this, if I'm understanding and playing this cheating-wise, I'm going to play this on this creature to wound it. Yeah. Okay. Right? Is that wounding it? Because it's negative four? Yeah, I mean, it, well, it will be at the wounded state from how I read the rule book, sure. Yeah, okay, cool. That, I just wanted to clarify that before I make bad choices. So I'm going to do that. Um, I may give a spirit 2-2, two -two, which I do not have a spirit. So I got to play that for free because of this card. And then I'm going to play this for free because I'm going to play it on him. Or wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Out of order. But this will still work. I was going to activate him to do two damage to your face. Okay. And then I'm going to play this on the wounded creature so it's free. Ready a creature and give it plus three attack. So I can ready him now to give him plus three attack. Right? And now he has mobility okay. one this turn. And this was free because he's he was wounded from that previous spell. Yeah. Right? Hey, you're getting the old free card. Free cards, dude. I pulled it off. Woo! Dude, you, you did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it and I didn't cheat. I've got we've got Stoneblade and Shadow watching me to make sure I don't cheat on you, Matt. But I think that was a crazy play, huh? It was there was a lot of stuff going on for sure. Spite Maiden um, into this into this purple spell. Invocist OP? I mean, I could pop you again for two, because I played a spell. Does it have to be this turn? Yeah, so I'll, I'll do this to pop you for two more damage. Before I... Okay. I guess the turn keeps going, but whatever. Alright. Is it officially my turn now? Yes, that is your turn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to play... Pig Rider Man. Okay. Over here. Arrogant Pack your Master. Spider. <laughs> Alright, dude. Whenever your Warriors is dealt damage, it gets two... Sorry, he goes back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's arrogant, dude, so he moved right to the front of your battle line. Yeah. You want to fight yeah, my yeah, spite yeah. maiden, dude? You're going to get I in mean, the way. You no, know, he's... He's doing what he's got to do. You are in the way of my spite maiden, man. All right, this has mobility yeah. one, right? So, at least for this turn. Uh, because of my Everflame aura. Sounds correct. Dude, this card is really good. <laughs> 
I like that card. <laughs> I like that card a lot. All right, so then what I'm going to do then is play out uh, my Fleet War Storker, dude, who's got Mobility 1. He's just going to come out 7-4. Seven, 7-4. Four. Seven, four. Oh, you have to activate it to move it. Okay, but because he's exhausted, he wouldn't be able to move. Gotcha. So I could activate gotcha. him to move him. It's an exhaustion. Gotcha. <laughs> For the mm. proof it isn't, Chris. Yeah, we've got limited time to get some games in tonight, so... I want to play games with Matt before we, we can. Correct. I cannot move the Invocus now. But I can move my War Stalker if, if needed. Okay. Okay. I think this is what I'm, I'm going to have to do, man. Like, I, I my, my hands aren't dealing with yours in the best way possible. So this is the best way that I can, like, mitigate the damage in front of me. Right. I'm going to give this guy... A roaring bear. Plus the bear. Two plus two. Um, to buff this thing up. That should be an eight, right? And, oh, did I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Eight, eight. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. At least that way, get that trade off. And uh, getting whacked for seven sucks, but hopefully, I can start stabilizing after after this. Okay. All right, dude. All right. So I'm gonna attack. We trade here, I guess. Yep. Dang! You killed my my invocist. He was my friend. Um, yeah. Seven to your face, and then uh, I guess four to your pack master, and I die. Dude. So then he gets two more attack and loses four health. Because of your thing here? Dang. Okay, fine. Health. Fine, dude. Yeah. Alright, move on up. Move on up, man. Come at me, bro. This guy's gonna come at you All right. on his pig. In the turn, dude. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got this guy. Hey. Oh. 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 All right, what do we got here? Interesting. Hmm. Not taking advantage of my my purple synergy. I'll just say that right now. I feel like I'm missing out. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. You know, since I'm on... Since I'm on the play here. You are on the play. We're just gonna chuck down the old warmonger. Gizmo. We're summoning Gizmo here. We're gonna summon Gizmo here. Dags, yo, Dags. Yeah, dude, fat Gizmos. Fat Dags. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, fatty Gizmos coming out. Um, you've got a four ten or ten four staring me down. <laughs> He's hanging out. Um, what are you going to do? Man, I wish I had this. Wish I had this out. I've got I've got a combo wombo right now, but I feel like... Um, dang, man. I guess I'm not going to be able to take advantage of it. That's sadness. Cool combos with this guy. Uh... I guess I just, I guess I do this before you run away with this, because I can't have you running multiple gizmos and then throwing dudes on top of your gizmos. So we're going to throw a blizzard shaman out and activate him to do two damage to all creatures, which is going to give him more attack, but wipes your gizmos out and hits me for two. Okay. Okay. AoE, son. That. AoE's kid. Um, That includes him, too, I believe, right? All, all. Oh, I guess all creatures. Yeah, I thought all other. I added words to that card. Yeah, you're right. Definitely. Sorry, he also goes back there. Yep, you know, you're 100% right. So I hear. He's on D. I'm actually going to put him in this lane. Okay. Oh, man. You're right. All creatures. You are correct, sir. This guy took two damage, mm -hmm. right? He's down to two? Yeah. Two health? Uh, No. No, he was at six. I, draw I knocked him down. He was at six? And put him up to two. Oh, I thought he was yeah, at Yeah, he was at six last time. Oh, no, dude, he yeah. had. I pumped him last turn, remember? Okay. I pumped him, brought him above six, then he went down to six. No, but you fought me. No, you pumped four. him, you went down to four, and you should be down to two. Yeah, he was at four. You should be at two because you took four damage from my Spite Maiden. You had him at eight. I hit you for four with my Spite Maiden, and then I just hit okay. you for two. So I hit you for a total of six when he was at eight. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm trying to remember what I actually played on him. I can't remember the buff amount. I'll take, I'll take your word for it. Um, okay. Correct. I gave him plus 
what now? Oh yeah, it'd be in the other deck. Okay. Um, there's a couple things I want to do here. Okay. But the hand I have, oh, that could be good against you for later. Yeah, thanks for all the support, guys. We appreciate it. Given what you're showing, what? I think this is the best play for me. Oh my god. Oh, you're a jerk. You're just going to throw this guy and jump over my guy? And hit me in the face oh, we'll for 7 see. damage, dude? Is that what you're going to do? We're going to see what your next play is. But, you know, something like that. Well, my next play... Ugh, that's annoying. That was an annoying play. You're basically Thank just you. you're, you're just basically making everybody die. Is what you're trying to do? Is that what you're trying to do right now? I, I don't know, man. I, I mean, like, right now... Like... Not sure that everybody so this dies. Is three. This fact, doesn't... I only see, I actually literally see nobody's dying right now based on the current board state so okay so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to stuff's gonna get violent Matt things are gonna get violent it's gonna get be a it's gonna be a battlefield Stop life it. is a battlefield show me the battlefield um I'm sad that this is the way this is gonna go um, okay I like that. Uh, so if I don't I'm gonna take like 19 damage if I don't do this so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mobility my my mad monkey guy. Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Ice. My war stalker. He's going to move over here, yeah. get in the way of this guy, so he's going to die. Um, but, and then, because you have stealth, and the only way to counter stealth from D without direct damage... Um, arr, he has four health? Yeah, man. And I only had mobility one on him, huh? That sucks. Where's a spell sprite? I just want to look at the stats on spell sprite. Oh god, he's a one four. <laughs> I was like, come on. I noticed he got a nerf from the last time we played. It used to be three attack per spell. Now he's down to two. Oh, was it three attack? That's right. Someone pulled it out. Did you guys nerf the spell sprite, guys? You nerfed that the looks, spell sprite. Like... Wow. He was a he was a powerful boy. Can't believe you guys nerfed the little spell spray. You changed his artwork and then took him down. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out Sigmund Fraud. He has aggressive, so he's going to jump in the front, overriding this guy. So you will not stealth around me, and we will both die a horrible death together. Okay. okay. Sound good? I'm All right. fine with you clearing the board, considering how this game started. Yep, yep. Okay, so you have the forge, dude. All right, so Dino eats uh, zombie grandpa. <laughs> zombie grandpa. Uh, Z uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then Big Rider, uh, War Storkler, Monkly. Yeah, uh, instant fights, <laughs> good battles, dude. All right, all right. Spell Swarm is plus three. They're saying. Yeah, well, I I saw that one was, I, I thought that one was always three. I can't remember, but I I, me I thought I remember the spell sprite being three too. But I yeah, your spell swarm right here, yeah. Okay, uh, is that the end of the turn there? Yeah, we're both dead. So we're now leveling up, dude. Yes, level yeah. up your forge board. Okay, okay. All right, so what is your ability now, Matt? Um, replace a level one creature with a wisp. Nice. And what you got? Just got a card to play a level one creature. You just got power for free. I love, I love purple abilities, man. I'm all, I'm all into Dude, purple. Purple OP, man. Purple, purple good. Purple got a lot of cool stuff. Ooh, good. look who's here. Someone here. Um. See, you're second, huh? Yeah. So I've heard. Dang, man. I mean, I'm loving this card right now. I'm loving this card. So, discard a card to play a one creature from your discard pile for free. Interesting. So I could discard a level one creature and play it for free if I proc this, right? Right? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess the ordering on it kind of looks like you could. Stoneblade says... But I figure, like, no. in most games, you have to pick your target before you... Like, at the beginning of your ability, in which case, the level one wouldn't be in your discard yet. So, you'll what? have to ask them. I mean... Yeah, they said, yeah. It's possible. Be because I think there's yeah. a period. It's like, you do the first part, and then that's now in my discard, and then play a level one creature from my hand. Or for free. Okay. I'm not necessarily going to do that right now, but... Just, just curious. Just curious. For later. For later. For later. Okay, so we're going to come back out with our Vocust again, dude. 
I have the Ford, so boom, Invocus is back. If it played a spell this turn, deal three damage to a creature or player. I'm gonna wait. I just, um, what are you, green, green, blue? Yeah, you're green, blue guy over here, so. I don't know. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it, dude. I'm gonna go risk reward right now. Hmm. This is. It's a tough choice of the hand I got. Um, man. I'm gonna try that card out. Um, let's. Let's try this. I'm going to summon a gizmo. Oh, a stout inventor. Here. Okay. More gizmos out, dude. You love your little gizmos. Dude, I'm playing the hand I'm dealt. I need to keep your gizmos um, out of my way. That's the problem here. And you keep playing these okay. little no attack, high health guys, which are just really annoying, is what they are. Fair. That's fair. It's really annoying. Um. Okay, 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 okay. If I do that, that is interesting. Um. Wow. Um, is this the combo I want? Um. Oh, so this is the second half of the turn, right? So you get one more reaction to this. Mm. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put out uh, Blizzard Shaman again. I'm just playing the same two cards. <laughs> I'm going to play out Blizzard Shaman. Um, I'm then going okay. to activate Blizzard Shaman to do four damage to everybody. Okay. So I go down to four health, and then... Uh, he goes down to four health. Ah, oh, thanks for the follow, T-Bone Sticks. I hope you're enjoying some stone... Or stone forge. <laughs> Soul Forge. Fusion. If you have any questions, if anyone's just joining us and tuning in here, thanks to Stoneblade for retweeting us out. Um, please ask. Please ask. Um, okay, so I'm down to four health, four health. You're at two health. Um, yeah. I can do a thing. I can do a thing. like to do a thing yeah i'm trying to figure out who i want to do the thing too because it's like do i put all my eggs in one basket just to be scary guy or i think this is what i'm gonna okay so i'm gonna play out my my staff of various because i'm only playing three cards this entire entire game i'm just gonna level up three different cards i'm gonna agree i'm gonna give this guy 10 attack I'm putting him at 17 that's a healthy boy okay uh or 15 sorry 10 attack yeah 15 and then I played this on a mage, so he's a mage, so it's free. And then I'm going to proc this because I played a spell to do f uh, three damage to that guy. Clear him out of my way. Okay. Wrong Garfield game, Stoneforge. Did you play Stoneforge? <laughs> yeah. T-Bone Sticks has been loving the game so far. Have you been enjoying the mod? Yeah, the game's been a lot of fun, T-Bone. What's your favorite thing, T-Bone, that you've been enjoying about the game? Now that... Love hearing what is everyone's it? favorite thing is. Hmm. Because Matt and I... Really I for the deck you're playing, I'm going to... I think I'm going to drop this card, man. Okay. Like, I, I, it, it's actually not all that crazy right now, but it fits with... against the deck you're playing. So this... I'm glad that I actually got to trigger this. I want to see how this works out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I agree. But, you yeah. know, it, it it doesn't do much uh, because, you know, you're you're already going to be here, but I have to stop this huge threat. The question is, I can't remember, does Breakthrough only only hit in the front, right? I can't break through from the back? or um, I think only if you attack. I think only if you're on the attack. Like, if you're in the front row. That's what you're asking, right? Yeah. I think only if you're attacking, not on D. I think when you're dealing damage. Look back. Is that correct? I mean, we can be clarified on that, but I think, yeah, you have it's to... A, I just looked at it. Yeah. Be yeah front that's row. correct. Okay. Right. Cool. Um, that's the end of the turn, right? So you take seven. Yep. Seven damage, and, and then three. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, you keep you keep getting bored here. Yeah, you this keep, card... You, you played a lot of free spells, and I... 
I haven't run across those yet. Um, this card is cool, dude. Like, I, I got this, like, when we first started playing, and I never banked on it. It's, like, situational, right? But, like, yeah, this deck, the free cards win games, but it's cool that they're putting this mechanic in there to balance things out. Like, um, and that's a big thing. I saw Justin Gary, like, he was talking about that. I was telling Matt earlier, guys, go, we just retweeted it. Go check out his game development blog about Soulforge Fusion and the background on it, because it'll answer a lot of questions. Um, and they've done a really good job at countering stuff like that, which I thought was really interesting. Like, rather than going in there and saying, oh, he has a gateway to diss. <laughs> oh, he has four gateway to disses in his deck. Well, can't counter that. <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> they've kind of looked at stuff like that and find an, a fun, balanced combo that you could find in a deck to counter what's maybe in the meta, right? Or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right, what's up? That's, I'm throwing out Big Man again. <sighs> See how this goes down. Whenever your Warriors gets five attack now, he's a 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, bro. All right. Well, hopefully I got a bunch of spells. <laughs> oh, you're a 9-9. Nine, nine. So the T-Bone Stick says, I would have to say Depth of Learning the Deck. That was something about Keyforge I loved and seems to be magnified in this game. The mod is pretty smooth, too, he says. Yeah, I agree. I think what's cool about this, is too, is actually what I was thinking about. The, um, I was having a shower... A shower thought, Matt. Um, when teaching someone new Keyforge, um, I always thought the coolest thing you can do is give them a deck, tell them the basic win, the win, um, you're, what you're trying to do. Just forge three keys and how you're going to do that. And then just tell them, choose a house and do what it says on the card, right? Just play the card out and do what it says and find out what happens. I thought that was one of the coolest things about uh, teaching Keyforge to a new player, even my eight year old son. And with this game, I think it's very similar. I think it echoes the same way, except it's even easier because you just say, pick a card and play one card. Do what it says. Okay, move on. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking forward to, to teaching this to like new players and how fast games can get going, which is really kind of a neat thing. I like that a lot. Um, okay, dude, I got to get rid of your arrogant Pat Master. He's just so arrogant, it annoys me. Yeah. Yeah, he's just, like, in my face all the time about his arrogance. <laughs> like, he, ha he has to tell everyone he's arrogant. Yeah, he's got to let them know. Yeah, dude. Um, oh, I see. Okay, what? where's my free cards, dude? Where's my free cards? Um, oh! I'm, like, one off, dude. I'm one off doing what I want to do. Um, do I want to do that? I guess so. I guess I can do... Or do I want to do this? It's just it's so weak, man. I felt like the beginning of my games had a lot of that, too. I felt like I haven't had a lot of strong plays. I'm hoping later they'll pay off. I'm just super upgrades. sad. I'm one damage off right now from removing this guy with a combo I'm trying to pull off here. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is if I play this... Oh, I can just do it... I can do it that way, I guess. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be kind of weird. Okay, so I'm going to pop this guy out. I'm going to put my Fire First Duranty out. Is that what I want to do? Um, I'm actually thinking about using this. Because then I could get okay. him out for free. But no, I'm not going to do that. This is kind of a slower play than I want to do. Um, so my turn's not over. If I wanted to activate that, I could, right? That's, I believe, how I understand it. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put him here. I'm going to activate him to do one damage to this guy. And that's all I'm going to do this turn. I'm going to try to do something. Wild Wormhole, what's going on? First time watching gameplay. Definitely impressed by the mod. Yes, it's running really great. Props to Shadow. Shadow's in chat right now. If you have any questions about the mod, Shadow is happy to answer them. He's been a great help. Doing some great stuff. Hmm. I ain't scared of your, your 14 damage, dude. Do you think I'm scared of that? I don't know. Because you're arrogant? Your, ar your arrogance? I have a big, big question based upon your table talk. 
between a couple choices here. I know, dude. I, I'm the worst about the table talk. It's hard, I'm man. This is this is really, really tough. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Cheers. I'm gonna throw this out. And give this boy 3D. Uh, now you've done it, man. <laughs> Have I done it. Have I, I spoke too much. Have I much. done it? Now you've done it. All right, dude. Now, now we have to get. Now we have to get stupid. Now you made it. Now you made it stupid. Okay. Now you, now you took all the fun out of it, dude. Oh. Now you took all the that. fun out of it. So now I have to use this, I think, to get nuts. All right. So this is what I'm going to try to do. Uh huh. Um. If I do that, then that. So that'll give. Uh, so you're at nine health here, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna. That yeah. looks. Wait, what? I'm at. Uh, I'm at, twelve or eleven. Well, yeah, I mean, oh yeah, eleven, eleven. Sorry, eleven. Okay. Okay. Shoot, that that totally messes up my. I'm thinking of my math. I'm thinking of my math, Matt. Gotcha. Um. Can't get there that way. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to use this in a different way. I'm not gonna get the value I wanted out of this. Three. And then how do I do? Um. Three. Oh, how am I doing this, guys? Without getting, f I'm trying to get free cards out of this. Um. I think. Oh, by this. Okay, so I'm not getting that value. Um, eight. I think I put that out. Do that. I think I'm gonna do this because I can't take 14 damage. This thing is so annoying, man. So I think we're gonna pop this to discard uh, this arrogant giant. Which I guess I can put anything in, right? Uh, what other level one creatures do I have in here? I have this glider, and that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this arrogant giant um, to sit in your way now by popping this. Then it says play a one creature from my discard pile for free. So I'm gonna play it here for free. Okay, okay. So he's out, and then He's got two health. Um, how much health? Eight. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to play Trial by Combat as my spell to give him six power. Then I can have it battle an enemy creature. So then I can have him battle any enemy creature. So he's a six damage. I'm going to have him battle this guy. So okay. that kills him and does how much four damage back. to me? Four. Four damage to me, so I'm at four. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this. Because I played a spell this turn. Activate this to do just basically remove your armor. Okay. Before somebody else and chat tells you to do it, you should give this guy plus five attack, oh, yeah. which I'm not pleased about. Um, oh, man. Yeah, okay. I think that's the way I want to go with this. Take care, Stoneblade. Thanks for popping through, and thanks for the retweets, man. We really appreciate all the support. We look forward to it. Guys, if you're going to join us, you want to check out the 2v2 Stone. mode, we'll be playing Wednesday with Stoneblade at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Matt and I will be playing 2v2. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Thank you so much, Stoneblade. Uh, that was your second action, right? So yeah, so we just battle oh. now. Yeah, now we battle the deck. So I take seven. Yep. Uh, then I take six. Six. And I die. This doesn't yeah. have breakthrough, does it? No. Six, you gain five right. attack, though. Yep. Okay. And this guy will move up. Six. Hold on. Oh, no. That no, guy, no, yeah, no. no. He's six. just moving up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. You're good. Oh man, you're a. Uh... Oh no, but he's defender. He will stay back here. 
Uh, and I think he loses yeah, that. Oh, yeah, five. he is a defender. Right, 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 right. Oh, he stays with the okay. six attack because he gets to keep it, right? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't stay until the turn, I don't think. No, it doesn't. Did it? Did it? Yep, just gets five attack. Okay, cool. Woo! Okay, we got through it, dude. We got through it. <laughs> Sorry, I was overthinking that there. So, Stim Defender's going to stay in the back. Yeah, end in turn. End in turn. Thank you, Shadow. Nice. Okay, how many cards do we have left here? Fives? Okay, last turn of this, this phase, dude. Last turn of this cycle. Before we level yeah, up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you could still swap, replace a creature with a Wisp, dude. Don't forget. You could Wisp me, man. You can Wisp me away. Let me check this out. Um, man. I think I've got to do... Oh, I'm the Forge. 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 I'm not oh. looking. I didn't oh. see it. I didn't see it. You can put this back in. Okay, don't look, at, don't look at it. Don't look at it. I'm not. I'm not. Go. Put that in your... Oh, you're going to still don't do look. it? You're still going to do it, whatever I do? <laughs> no, no, not necessarily. Hush. Don't look, don't look. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to help you, man. <laughs> um, ooh, interesting. Okay, I'm trying to play this out. Um, okay. I'm going to do... I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to activate Whoa. my Uranti, my Firefish Uranti. Oh, Sassy Smork with the A Moz. Thank you, Sassy. Good to see you, buddy. Pop, 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 pop. Boom, spin, yo. <laughs> Matt, what is what? <laughs> That's awesome, dude. It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you. I love the, I love it. All right, I'm going to deal. Okay, I'm going to activate him to pop him for one. Okay. Because I get to deal one damage to a creature. Um, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to Everflame Aura. To ready a creature and give it five attacks, so I'm going to put him at 11 for this turn only. He'll lose that five after this. It gets mobility two now as well, and I get to ready him. He's wounded, so this is free. And then I'm going to activate sure. him to pop him. To wipe him out. Okay. Um, so now I could actually use this because I played a spell this turn. I can. I'm going to activate this to do three to your face. Okay. And I still get to play a creature or something, right? Because that was a free spell. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds sounds accurate. Okay. Uh, I'm not getting any value out of these. Um, I'm gonna play out this. This has mobility too. So if you try to get in my way, dude, I'm just gonna move out of the way. Oh, but you're on D. You're also exhausted. So. Oh, I'm also exhausted. You're right. I'm so tired. All right, so I'm going to go... I'm actually still just going to put this over here. Deal five to an enemy player unless you sacrifice a creature, but you don't have any creatures, so... I guess I'm just doing five damage to you. You don't get the choice. Boom, boom, boom. That's... Get that's what it sounds like. You. Thanks, sassy okay. man. No, dude, you're here a lot, man. It's fun to see you. Uh, he doesn't lose mm -hmm. that five health. There's a period before this turn. What? Whoa. Ready creature gets plus five. He gets plus two mobility. Yeah, so you don't have the mobility anymore. Is what he's saying. Like once it turns over. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what he's saying. Okay, we're good. Oh, he doesn't lose the five attack. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, cool. So he stays oh, in eleven yeah, four. Stays. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Shadow. Thanks for clarifying that. Yeah, the period's mm. there. Yeah, it's, it's clearly written. And I just made it worse than it was. <laughs> I, I nerfed the card for you, Shadow, so don't worry about it. He may become a Wisp, though. That's right. His dream is to grow up and be a Wisp, is what Matt's going to do. He's going to do that for me. Jeez. Is, uh... this, this deck combination is very aggressive. <laughs> no, it's 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 the fact that you've gotten to play free spells literally every turn. Yeah, and none. This is exactly what that's, your friend did to us in two v two. Killing me right now. Yeah, dude, like, I don't, uh, I'm wiping you with direct damage, which is nuts in this game. Yeah, I'm trying to counter as best I can. So I think I'm gonna do <laughs> nerf everything. I'm gonna do this. Oh my god! This is back here. Okay. Um, you got the perma armor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So so this is this is one question we had, Matt. Um, and maybe Shadow. I know Stoneblade yeah. took off. When when this causes me to lose aggressive and defender this turn and gain defender, right? No, wait. It loses aggressive and gets defender. Will this mean that I don't get to move this spider up? That's yeah. That is a great question because that's what we were thinking is the case. Because at the point in time the turn ends, you still have defender. This was my argument. Shadow says it still moves up. What really? I figured if the fact that it loses defender or gives it defender until end of turn would mean it it keeps it back there until the end. Okay, so. Yeah, that, that's confusing to me because Defender makes you not move forward. So if it's keep if it has Defender until the end of the turn, I would take that as it's staying back. We are basing it off of the card Nap Time that gave uh, exhausted like one, two, or three creatures and gave knocked them off defender. aggressive and gave them Defender. So. so the official ruling is that it just knocks it back for now, and but at the end of the turn it will move up, is what they're saying. They tried to clarify in the rules. Oh. That makes, I'm going to be blunt, man, that makes nap time a lot worse. Um, I was thinking it was like, it was really pretty solid to play if it like kept something back a turn. Yeah. But if it if it moves up at the end, that Thanks, makes Chad. that card a lot more questionable. He says we'll get you um, better work. I think what really just clarifies it, it says it loses aggressive and gets defender until end of turn, right? Is what it should say? Why does it even need to get defender is my real question. Like... If, if it's going to move up before the end of turn, why does it even have to say it, it needs to get Defender? I'm, I'm missing the, the intention behind giving it the Defender keyword then. Until end of turn. Yeah. yeah. Resolve at end of turn effects. So me, Ivan B, saying resolve at end of turn effects and remove until end of turn effects. Discard any remaining cards in your hand. Ready your exhausted creatures. Move your non-Defender creatures in the back row of the front. Oh, because it's the last step. I see what you're saying in the thing. Yeah. Okay. It should just say push a creature, is what Shadow's even saying. Okay, interesting. That was something... That, okay. Actually, Matt, we probably should have lost that 2v2 match. Because <laughs> we yeah, missed well, Yeah, that, that was the whole... I mean, to, to be fair, we would have played it differently, but that was the whole yeah. logic behind that. That was, like, the thing that... Yeah, nap time... I, is, thought, I thought the way it was intended. Yeah, nap time saved us, guys. And obviously, we played it wrong. <laughs> we won't... We, shh, we won't tell them. Um, okay, so... Um, I went... You went... I went... You went... So that's the end of your turn there? No. Oh, wait, I don't... I've only done one thing, I thought. Yeah, I've only done one thing, man. Oh, okay. I know you're used to playing four cards a turn, but, like, <laughs> I've only played one. Oh, that's um, right. I forgot. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. My yeah. B. My B. Um, so you're sitting with three static armor here and three health? Yes, sir. Interesting. Um, once again, I feel like I'm getting half value out of these other cards. Um, okay, so I'm just going to play it anyway, uh, just because it's a good card. I'm going to go Spirit Leash, give this creature negative 6-6, six, six, so it kills it. And I don't have any spirits again, so I'm losing, I'm just using it for my creature direct damage, dude, which I still think is pretty good in this game. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Keeping the pressure up. Um, Am I just going to get, I'm just pushing the buttons to get wisped on? Is that what's about to happen here? I mean, wisp, wisp would be would mean I wasted my first action, so that's what's tough about this. Um, and this is your last turn to use it, last chance before you. No, no, I, I, I know, I know. I'm trying to decide how I want to do it. Um, I think, I think I do have to wisp. I have to wisp this. Wisping my spider. Yeah, like man. Creeper, dude. All right. Oh no, he's, he gets and, destroyed and becomes a wisp, right? Uh, wisp. Yes. Um. Two two wisp. Boy, I just I can't do anything like efficient enough. You're out. You're out. Your action economy is is it is this. Rushed. This has been some of the best action economy I've seen in a deck, which has been pretty nice. I mean, it's pretty quick. It's a fast deck. Ah. This guy has some back here to do that. I have to. I have to go and do this because I can't afford to keep taking damage. I'm gonna play this. Um. I, I assume that once it's moving enemy creature to this lane, I either don't do it or I can just pick this guy, right? Um. I guess he's in this lane, isn't he? 
He's already in the lane. Uh, yeah. Well, what I mean is, is like I can't drag someone else over to like knock him out or something. I oh yeah, like... I think it works like mobility. It has to be an empty lane. Yeah, yeah. See, unfortunately, this is the only thing that I can do to actually finally contest this guy. So um, then I'm gonna exhaust this guy to ping. Uh, this is gonna die anyway. I guess I'll ping that for one. Okay. Yeah. Pew. Okay. Pew pew. Okay, right. man. So fighty bots. These guys trade. No, I just. Oh yes, trade. Yeah. Yeah, they trade. They trade. That's why I put that guy there. My token. I thought my token was my attack. And then uh, I'll move up. Yep. And this guy stays. Yeah. Okay. Ending turn. So we level up now, right? This is the level up according to the mod. I believe so. I believe so. Yes, level up your Forgeborn, Matt. Yeah. Not override him. Dude, I think I tried to do that with mobility in, in one of the games, where I was like, oh, I'll just mobility over this guy and override him, and it was like, nah, you can't do that. <laughs> that would have been pretty cool, though, to pull guys over guys. Yeah. That, that, been that some, would be cool. That would have been an awesome... Or you would have just pulled my wisp over him or something. <laughs> like, you wisp me and then wisp me away with this freaking little... <laughs> All right, would, so, yeah, that would be incredibly, yeah, incredibly powerful. So now I can sack a creature uh, to play a creature from my hand for free. Dude, so many free yeah. cards. What do you got now? Yeah, that's... You just get an oak. unfortunate card. for me. You get a big tree. You can get a free big Sweet. tree. Um... Ugh. All right, I'm going to do... Yeah, this ability is pretty... I'm going to do this. Oh, gizmos. Oh, free creature's coming out. Yeah. Okay. And then play. Ah, oh, bro. Play this here, making that guy his base stats. Oh, so I go back to eight. But yeah. I go down to then... one. Oh, man. Super savage. Okay. Oh, that's crazy. Stabilizing Techno Hulk. Okay. That's pretty cool. I had him earlier, but uh, it kept not working out at the the time I needed it to. <laughs> Why did they build it? Exactly. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Three seven, huh? Yep. See, all all your guys are little health, big or big health, little attack. All these things, but you have all these like little little baby abilities that are getting real old, man. Well, I mean, so far it hasn't done much in the whole health department for me yet, so. We'll right. see if it pays off in the end. Right. We'll see. Uh, so, white ability sacrifice creature to play a creature in my hand for free. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and I'm on to D here. Uh... Yeah. yeah, it's an unfortunate ability for, for me to see at this time. Okay, we can get this out. Um, if I do that, I can get this out. And then deal with that um that's interesting and I can activate him um uh, okay so I think what I'm gonna do uh is just to keep I guess the pressure on you a little bit Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. not cool. Okay, I just realized what I have in my hand. Okay, so this is what we're doing, dude. This is what we're doing. I just realized I have this. So I'm going to play out. Oh, wait, wait. Out of order. Out of order. That's coming out in a second. Uh, give me two seconds here. I think I can do a crazy turn here. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Do that. Um, okay, um, I'm going to play out my Spite Maiden right here. So deploy, I may pay five health to play a one or two spell for free. So I'm going to... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, so I can play a one or two spell for free right now if I want. And I'm going to do that. 
I'm doing this out of the wrong order that I thought, but whatever. So I'm going to play Trial by Combat, give him six attack, and have him battle this guy immediately. So he's now to seven attack, and I battle you here, so I take three damage. Oh, right. Oops. So I, I had him, I played this, I played Trial by Combat, give him six, and have it battle an enemy creature. So I had him just battle this guy. Okay. So I get rid of him. I'm going to activate this to do a damage here. Okay. Um, I then can... Oh, no. I already played a card. Okay, I'm done. Um... I didn't want to activate my ability. Sorry, guys. Sorry that was in there. I think I... Oh, Sprite Man is back. That's right. Um, oh, I think I, I... I was trying to figure out how I could make that... Place for sick days? Yeah, like, I think I could have activated this to bring out the Spite Maiden for free, which then allows me to play a spell for free. I, I could have I free rolled, but I think because I'm stuck in the back with a lot of these guys and I'm on Defender, it doesn't... It didn't work out. So sorry, I'm overthinking my turn a little bit. Apologies. Um... I'm gonna summon Oak Father here. Ooh, make him a big, big Oak Father. Make him big, big Oak Father. So it makes him what a ten ten. Yeah. With breakthrough. Yeah. And there's a twelve fourteen in my way here. Yeah, there's some healthy boys, but you get a chance to respond, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Let's see what you can do with it. I wish I had some aggro, dude. Um, this is a big guy. This is a big guy, and I'm I'm gonna be able to fight you. Um, that's a big that's a big guy. Um, he is. And I kind of I kind of like have to use this I think right now. Um, I guess I don't have to use it right now, but it'd be na I I need to. Ah, this guy being defender is really kind of just slowing me down. I do this. Yeah. Oh, I have to sack a creature. Oh, I can sacrifice any creature, can't I, guys? Like I. I don't have to be my yeah. own, or does it have to be my own? No, oh, sacrifice you can only do your own. I can only do my own, right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, take care, Sassy Smork. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, man. Not his, right. It has to be my own. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to do this now, then. Because you made problems. You put up pressure, dude. You put up the pressure? Under pressure? Yep, yep. That sucks. I guess I have to do this. You kind of pinned me, dude. You kind of pinned me. I'm going to put my Staff of Varus, Varus, or whatever, um, on... Do I care about 8 damage right now? I mean, if I do this and put it on him, you clear here, and it's free. I'm going to go here. I'm going to ignore this Oak Father. So I'm going to go 15 here, which makes him, whatever, 20... Something giant. 22? Is that right, Matt? 22. Uh, which makes it, right. which is free. Um, and then I'm just going to play this Rotund Stout Fist right here. Stone Fist. Rotund Stone Fist, just to put a guy out. Okay. 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 All right. Well, uh, these two trade. Yep. These two go boom. And then I kill this, and you take eight. I take eight damage. And I take two health. Okay. Huh? Okay. All right, man. End the turn. Oh, that was good, dude. You're 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 finding a win, dude. You're finding a win. I, I expect nothing less from Sensei Sice. Trying, man. I know, dude. You're grinding up, dude. You're grinding up. This is what you used to do to me in Keyforge, man. I'd be like, ha, 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 I've got him, and then you'd find a way. You always find a way. <laughs> Not much of a sacrifice if you blow up one of his. He sacrificed something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is in the rules, Doc, that Forgeborn can only use their own stuff. I would assume it is. Yeah, it is. It is, Shadow. Like, I, I remember seeing that there. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, unless I imagined it because I've played a lot of card games, but I'm pretty sure that was in there. Oh, it's my turn. Um... 
You're on the D, huh? Ah. I'm sad. I'm like missing out on combo wombos, man. Combo wombos. Freaking love those. Um, and I don't have what I need necessarily uh, to proc some stuff. Um, yeah, my card, my card draw. I think I I just drew like really good hands, and I could be slowing down we, a bit. Your level twos and level threes pretty quickly, but. I mean, you have a lot of upgraded cards in your deck of the free spells, so... Right. Um, right. I doubt you're, yeah, you're going to have many of these bad hands. Right. Right. Um, okay, so I'm going to pop out. We have one more turn after this? We have one more round to go, huh? And I'm trying to think what's left. Um, so I'm going to put out... I'm just going to start by doing this. I'm going to put this glider out here. It's unopposed. He gets four attacks, so... He's unopposed... And then you may summon a spell sprite. Where's a spell sprite? This little guy. Uh, let's put him there. Okay, your turn. Okay. Mm. Watch out! Here comes my little uh, rock, my rock baby. Heart of the cards. That's right. I was hoping for the heart of the cards, man. Heart of the cards. I mean, that's what happens oh. when you play sealed. Boy. Let's... Shadow's right. This, it'd be great if I got the spell sprite out earlier! <laughs> well, um, I had, like, four spells per turn. Let's play this dude here. To shove this dude back. Mean. Get five armor? Just a big boy in my way? Let's get five armor. <sighs> okay, man. Okay, man. Um, okay, man. All right, dude. Okay. Um, uh, I need you to die. I want you no. to die. No die. <laughs> so you're at nine health here. Um, I can activate him to pop you for one. Mm -hmm. I agree. And everything is one short. This does okay. not help me, man. Um, I can play a creature, so if I sack a creature, I can play a creature from my hand for free. Play a creature from my hand for free. What does that help me do? What does that help me do? Um, let's go. Let's activate yeah. this guy to do one damage. The spell sprite in his deck. Shadow's like... Um, there. Let's activate damage, him yeah. to do one damage here. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, that doesn't do it. This guy's annoying, man. He's a good boy. Um, and then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to uh... I guess if I don't do that, he doesn't do anything. Um, but he just stays out. Uh, this guy's back. He will move up with four attack for later, which is good. Um, this guy, I don't know if he's come to the end of his run. I need to get this out. And I don't want it to die. And you're going to kill me if I do it. So you know what? I'm popping this guy out. And he's going to override. This thing. Okay. Okay. 
Hmm. And I'm thinking I might want to do this. But I'm not sure. I wanted to trade it up, but I don't want to sack something, so it's your turn. Taking another 10 damage? If I don't do it, I'm taking 10 damage, dude. And I'm putting you right next to me. Hmm. Right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, dude. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm gonna sacrifice something. I'm gonna sacrifice the spell sprite, sadly. Mm hmm To Um To throw in Dr. Frankenbaum right here. Cause I get to play him for free. I can't be taking five I, I five health I can take, but I'm falling behind otherwise. I'm popping my ability. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Now it's your turn, yeah. I can't I can't take ten damn ten damage. Eight damage, that would have been eighteen damage in this game. Can't do that. What up, Jimmy Jackknife? Sorry, I'm in the I'm in the tank suddenly. This game was Jeez. moving a little bit and then it's taken us a little bit longer. Apologies. Okay. So that was your last action, right? Yes. Okay. Um and I've gotta do this to just gain board control back. Ah, oh, this guy again. Okay. Dang, dude. I never played a spell, so I didn't get to activate him. Yep. Okay. So that's it, right? Yep. Okay, um, so so I'm on the forge, so these guys will trade. Or don't, no, not, yeah, they do. Yeah, they trade. Do they trade? Yeah, yeah they do. Well. You have five health. Yep. Okay. That's a trade. Uh, I die. You just lose. Well, your armor will come back. This armor comes back because it's static. This guy doesn't okay. attack. He'll ready up. And then this guy dies and I take five damage, right? Yep. And I take four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Dude, I'm finally chewing through all the level threes that you had. <sighs> okay. Ending that turn. Dang, dude. Forge doesn't matter. Battle happens simultaneously. I thought, but the Forge player gets to choose the order of the battle. Procking. Right, Shadow? Because I've noticed that does matter with some cards. What's up? Um... So fun, he, fun he sells five armor on him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my. Okay, so you're up here with nine, ten. Okay. 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 How much? Uh, Four health, five armor, nice. This hand. This hand. Right. And they all see it happen. Okay. <sighs> Simultaneous. Gotcha. Um. Wow. You're nine. This thing is annoying. Though. Okay. So I haven't seen this card before. It says do a thing, and then it says if this is upgraded, you may do another thing. So it's upgraded. If I if I'm looking at the rule right and understanding it, it means instead of doing it for the top thing, I can just discard it to do the bottom thing. Is that accurate? Would that be true? Well, I think if you discard it, you're not playing it at all. You're throwing it, you're just throwing it away. Well, it says if this is upgrade, upgrade is if another card upgrades it. Oh, okay, if something else upgrades it, it'll go to your discard, it won't do its top thing, but it'll do the bottom thing after it upgrades. Well, it says discarding a card counts as leveling. Upgrade is if a card upgrades it. Is it, um, a, is it a creature? No, it's a spell. Okay, and uh, the last question is, something says, you know, deploy, do a thing. And since it doesn't say the word may, I have to do it. I think so, yes. Man, this... Uh turn right here is a little bit complicated. Um, I think what I need to do I'm just gonna wait, hold on. Do I have anything in my deck that actually upgrades things? I'm just gonna do this. He's a defender, so he's back here. He, defenders can also always be in the stealth. back. He also has yeah. stealth. Yeah, he's defender with stealth. Took no damage. Deal one to a creature or player. 
Yeah, that's true. Is this kind of a weird forge shadow? Is this one of those weird ones when they have like double whatevers? Defender and stealth. Yeah. I mean, what if what if he was to give this defender aggressive? Would it actually be able to push it to the front and then u utilize like stealth? That's a bug. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you took no damage, deal one to a creature or player. Okay. We found a bug. So he's just going to sit back there and potentially get in my way for a little bit. That's what you're doing, huh? That's it? This is all you're doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't have free, free spells, bro. Okay. I think I had one. No problem, dude. No problem. No problem. No problem, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, how much health does he have? Dang. He's a healthy boy. Yeah, I'm just looking at this. Um, argh, I'm trying to get ahead of you. That's all sure. I'm trying to do right now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this. What is this doing? I'm going to activate this to do one to your face. Yeah. This is five plus four is nine. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to play out... Uh, I'm going to play out this Blizzard Shaman here. And I'm going to okay. activate him to do six to everybody. Okay. Including myself. So lose my armor temporarily. I'll throw it back here. So I'm at six. Go health. to three. Yep. And then it's your turn. Hold on. This guy also takes six. Yeah, and then it's your turn. Your turn. When are we going to play Talisman again, Jimmy? Uh, ASAP. We hope that the next Talisman game will be with playing board games again. That'll be the goal. That'll be the goal. We're behind on that, and we hope that that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a fun four-player Talisman. Matt's favorite thing ever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I can't wait, Jimmy. It's going to be great. Um... No Firelands expansion, though, because that just ends the game immediately, we've realized. The uh, Fire Fist dies, you're right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important. That's important. Um. Jeez. Man, I like this character, but the random forge you got on him makes him a little awkward. Which character? Oh. This guy? No, no, a guy in my hand. Ah. Uh, uh. I tried it and confirmed it. Yeah, man, right? <laughs> I love me some Talisman, though, for, for sure. We've just been excited for the Soul Forge Fusion stuff getting in here, and they keep updating it and changing stuff with it, so we keep having to try it some more. It's like, we got to get in here and try these combos. I'm surprised this game's taking this long tonight. This, I guess this has got to go here, because no matter where I put it, it's just going to pull you to me, which, like, I, I'm not the biggest fan of, um, but I'm gonna do two to him. Two to me? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, because you get to pop a thing, huh? Oh, you were. Oh, I thought you were at nine. Hold on, back up. No, I, was, I thought you were at nine. I took six because damage. Of the way it's sitting, because to me it looks like a nine because it's upside oh. down. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That changes everything. Oh, Matt's rewinding. Rewind. <laughs> does it change everything? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Going back. Reverse. But it does mean I'm gonna hit you for two instead of him for two. But you can hit me? No, it has to be a creature. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, you, that's fine. Good you're try, right. though. Good try. Good try. Good try. Try to hit okay. me in the face, dude? Trying to hit me in the face, man? Dang, dude. Okay. Um. I have to get... I, I must get the board back, dude. Uh, that's not what I want. Okay, so what I'm going to play is I'm going to play Everflame Aura, level 3, which gives him 10 attack, gets mobility 3, doesn't matter because all I'm going to do with him is it readies him. That's all I really care about. It's free because he's wounded, and then I'm just going to do six damage to everybody. So everybody dies. Gross. So everybody okay. dies. AoE. Found it. Got it! Uh, it's like Hearthstone, Jimmy Jackknife is asking. Um, the, it's got a battle line like Hearthstone. I would say it's like a deck builder-ish like Hearthstone, but it's more of like two half decks, so you don't get to build a deck like in Hearthstone. Hearthstone's more of a TCG. This is actually being considered a hybrid deck game. So it's it's if you were to take the battling of Hearthstone, it's similar to that. The battling is similar to Hearthstone. But I think um, the rest of it's more similar to Keyforge, Magic the Gathering, and Ascension. All kind of smashed together. 
in various mm -hmm. ways. Yeah. They are going to have a digital uh, implementation of the game, and actually Justin Gary does reference Hearthstone in terms of uh, inspiration in, in finding the next cool thing for a digital uh, card game. So, good observations, good observations. Um, uh, Matt, are we done with this turn? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think they just so. wiped everything, right? All right, in turn. Yeah. Okay. Did I end the turn? Yep. Are we leveling up our Forgeborn already? Yep. Oh, that was the end of that round? Yep. It was? Yep, okay. It was. I didn't know if I hit the in turn too much. Okay, boom, let's round. I thought, I thought we had one more round to go before that. I guess not. Well, we've got a lot of okay, a lot of interesting stuff to figure out here. It, I'd say it's options. um, I'd say it's more like magic, and the deck builder ascension, uh, Jimmy Jackknife and Keyforge. Yeah, that was free. What was free? Oh, my attack was free. That's right. I still could have played one more creature there. No. Yeah, I was I was waiting, and I thought you were going to, but I thought. With you oh, talking. I got distracted. Um, crap. That would have given me uh, some pretty cool advantage, right? I I imagine so. Dang. Well, I mean, we could hit the reverse button. Oh, okay. Want to try it? I mean, sure. If you if you need to, if you need that to win, man. Uh, wow. <laughs> I don't think we can. I don't think we can go beyond where we at now. We stuck um, in this world, um, dude. This is the world um, we're in. I messed up. Misplay. I, Matt, this is your chance to beat me then. This is the only way you're going to win, dude. If you, if you feel good about winning like this, that's fine. If you're okay I, I, with a win like that, that's it. cool. I, I don't know what to tell you. No, that's fine, you dude. You know, you want to go back and change it? Go for no, it. No, 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 no. I want you to, you know, I want nope. you to do what you need to do to. Nope. To, to nope. To don't need it. What's my ability now? I can summon up to two zombie brutes, and they strike their opposing creatures. Okay, that's yeah. what I'll need to win. Give up that's to two a... of your creatures 12 armor. Have fun with that, dude. How big is a zombie brute? Look, it, it messed up. Oh, it restarted the whole mod, so let's not hit the quick start and setup buttons. Yeah, yeah, that that seemed, rewinding seemed a little a little risque. Yeah, it did. We never, we never checked that, did we? So what's, uh -uh. I just wanted to check, uh... Oh, that's a zombie brute right there. Zombie brute is six six. Okay, good to know. But strike is direct damage, so they don't yep. take damage back. Good to know. Right, it's not battle. But it's only their opposing creatures. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need to see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out with a veteran creeper, dude, because he's creepy and doing six to your face. So after these three turns, guys, if whoever has the lowest health loses, basically, we go to sudden death after this one. Huh? Yeah, dude. Ah. Okay. Throw that there. To get out of my way, man. Let me just deal damage to your face, dude. <laughs> just take the six damage, dude. I don't know what your problem is. I don't know. What is your problem? I don't problem? know either. Um. Oh, this is a this was an early game card that I didn't get to see. Now you start getting stuck with those cards you didn't level up, and you're like, "Oops." Yeah. Yeah. Um, the game we play now is just what it is. Yeah, pretty much. Ten, ten, ten. Okay. Um. Oh, here. Ooh, it doesn't do what I need it to do. Um. So I guess how much else? Ten. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this now because I'm not going to get this back. This is my only chance to use this. I'm going to give this guy ten, neg negative 10, negative 10. So kill him off. Direct damage, dude. Just direct removal. Yeah. Move out the way. Yeah. Because this is the last round, guys. This is the discard. Jeez. Um, that card will be changed to say May. We don't want to force people to do things they don't want to do that should be beneficial. Says Shadow. So, Matt, they're making the changes as we're doing it. Look at that. <laughs> right on. Jeez, dude. Like, you're... I have to do this to counter this. Uh, this guy again. He's so always in the way. So, tell the logic behind this guy going from, like, the 12-14 to the 14-10. Because he started like, so small, right? He started he was... at, like, a 0-7 or something, didn't he? 0-7, then I think he was a 12-14, and then 14-10. It... 
the, the level through, I mean, if it's intentionally kind of punitive, that's, that's cool. It makes sense. But with him starting at 0, 7, going up to 14, 10. Well, I, I think, well, there's a lot of creatures I see in here where it's like you have to commit to a line of fighting, right? Like, you're, you're like, I'm going to go a brute line, like, or not a brute line, a warrior line. I was just reading chat there. But, like, you got to play him and you get the benefit later. So he's just getting angry and doing more damage over time. Right, but I don't. What I'm trying to say is, I don't see the benefit of this later. Oh, Shadow just said his portability is shifting. So the the noun is shifting, which does some crazy things to his abilities. Okay, yeah, because I would rather have him. I, I would sort of rather play him at his level two ability than his level three right now, if possible. I'd rather have him be the 12 14 than a 14 10. All right. Like so the extra health stat line's big. So we fight. I die. You take sick damage. Yep. Well, that's it, right? Yep. And then you move on up. Now you're in my face, dude. Don't like that. All right, see if in turn works. Looks like it works. Sweet. Except all my cards are level one now. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Um. All right, I'm on the level here. I, I just got to find a way to kill you, bro. Hey, yeah, hold on. I just need you to die. You have 12 health. Dude, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to summon a Mega Gizmo. Oh boy, Mega Gizmo. You may play a creature for free. Then I'm Dang. going to play... That's a big guy. This chick for free who summons a Gizmo. Okay. Just building a line, dude. Yeah. So it's 14, 20, 2, 4? 14, 20, 2, 4. Four. 24 damage right now in my face? Yeah. I think that sounds right. Ooh, you... You dirty. You dirty fighting, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um. You got four health there, though. He's got True. four health. Um. Uh. To get this, where's my, my? I wasted my AOE combo, dude. Oh, what's my ability here? Oh, right, summon two zombie brutes. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you sure is. That is pretty nice. All right, so you took one turn and got a bunch of dudes out. Now I've got a turn here. Yeah. Um. So I've got a. I think I have to do this, man, because you you can't have the board right now. That's that's not cool. So I'm gonna pop this and summon mm. two of my broody guys. Mm -hmm. uh, which are six sixes. Strike means you do their damage like a like a spell. So I'm gonna put it has to be opposing, right? So yeah, you're right here. So I'm gonna pop six here with him, mm -hmm. and then the second brute. He's gonna pop here and just remove this mega gizmo. Okay. Okay. So that was pretty good. That sucks. Um. um... So now that was my that's part of my turn. So that, I that I only use that. So now I can do my my other turn. Um Oh, bro. Let's get nuts, Matt. Okay? Okay, I'm going to put out Sigmund Fraud, level 2. He's aggressive. He's moving in the front row. My other zombies have plus 3 attack and aggressive, so they move up and get plus 3 attack. I'm so angry right now. <laughs> Dude, yes. Dude, that ability. That was that was just you you don't even know how. Oh, uh, <laughs> that ability was. right there. That was savage, dude. Savage. Uh, All of a sudden, you're looking at 18 damage to the face. From the zombies, from the fraud, dude, the old man. You called him an old man. He didn't like that. Um Yeah, I agree, Shadow. That's I guess that's what I was trying to say, but I didn't really clearly say it. He's saying sometimes you just need to decide if you're willing to put a weaker card in your deck later to get a ton of power now. Or, or, I was talking about it the other way, I think, a little bit. But yes, exactly. I just want you to die, man. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, I, I hate you for that, because I have this. Oh, this, um, this guy I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, well, it would have been huge. And and I waited one turn too long on my uh, plus 12, plus 12. I, oh, I mean, I, yeah, you could have popped it's, it. It's game. It's, it's game. It's, all right, game. boom, 18 damage, got him, boom! GG's, dude. Yeah, yeah, GG's, yeah, yeah. man. GG's. That was, uh, that was the first time I played a game where one deck had 
a lot more free than the other and it that was crazy i'm not gonna lie that that hurt that hurt a lot that was um, crazy those cards got a little insane very quickly um i mean sorry that game took a little bit there guys i thought we were gonna get maybe two games in i think you're gonna need to start getting out of here right um we don't have time for another game matt no i i mean if we i'm i'm willing to go to 9 30 if we can if we can like play play hard play fast okay we can play we hard play fast um i did i wish we could talk more about this game right here uh but yeah that went hard that went fast there were some really cool cards <laughs> some really cool combos but i agree this was nuts um but it was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun i'm gonna pop this yeah. load here and we're gonna be right in the in the bank and we'll do another quick start um yeah that game i'll hit quick start and we'll just get going um the game was nuts Dude, it was kings v kings. I, I've never played that many cards in a turn either. And then the zombie stuff with the minions and buffing the minions right at the end there with aggressive on turn two, pretty nuts. Yeah. There's some pretty yeah. big swings. But if I didn't have that card, I think you might have actually been able to hold on and fight back with that. If you popped your two defense. I'd, if I'd done armor, what I could have done is I could have overwritten my um, super gizmo with that dino, which would have made him hit you for 18. Right. But I still feel like with you having that aggressive... I would have had to have removed your dude. And since he's saying everything hits simultaneously, that doesn't mean that I can strike, uh, what's his name, first. I, I mean, I guess they're still aggressive, so they're still going to move up. Yeah. So I think that was rough. Yeah, um, no, that was a quick swing. But, uh, yeah, you did you did manage to start stabilizing, though, which was pretty uh, pretty impressive, man. And I blew... What I, do, what I do think is cool about this game, guys, is the whole mechanic of leveling your cards is a major part of Soul Forge. The thing you have to pay attention to is, um, as we're picking our characters, I'm just going to say this quick, is... Once you get to level three cards in your hand quickly like that, once you play level three cards, they're gone, dude. Like, yep. that's it. Like, you just blew your big your big boy, you know, and you're back to your level one potentially, so you better figure it out. <laughs> yep. Um. Okay, set a grid, move a creature to the background, get some minus 10, give all your creatures 10 armor this turn, summon two wisps. Okay, so Matt's going to be playing uh, the blue boys over here, the Owl Aloyan, and I'll be you, Terra, map Matt, you've got demoralized. Let's turn give one of your creatures five attack or armor. Oh, empathetic mantises. Emphatic. Yeah, did you see the name of the deck? Empathetic. Oh, dude, the emp the emphatic <laughs> mantises. Oh, this is oh, this is like my favorite deck. That's awesome. Attack to zero. Okay, move to the back row. So my benched one is very similar to that, just in a different order. And uh, you know, I have those abilities at different times than you. This one, like my attack zero, would be my first right off the bat. But instead, I'm going to go with uh, this Nova Uterra, uh, which summons two Wisps, give your creatures plus six attack. It's got more of a a zoo-like attack here for all the kids. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see what happens, man. Set it up. Let's go. Okay, we're going to try to get a second game in. We're going to move a little quicker here. Uh, we're going to have some fun. We're finding some stuff. We're getting questions answered. But it's fun to just get some games in on a Monday night uh, on air with Maddie here. Playing with the Sensei. He's digging deep. We're making him work. We're making him work for it. Um, so I have the forge. I will be first. Let's see. Strat is first. Look for free cards. <laughs> right. First, always look for free cards. Um, okay. Um, huh. Hmm. What strat do I want to go with here, dude? That's, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to come out. I'm going to come out with this Steel Eye Researcher. Because when I summon a minion, he gets two, too. He'll actually be here. Those guys. He's got a Steel Eye, man. He's coming in. And we're going to get big. Hopefully. Um, Goal is to go big fast with minions. I'm going to drop a Storm Collar. You have to decide if you want to take three damage or if I get to play a level one spell for free. I'll take three damage. Yep. I do like this card, though. Oh, and she's an 8-3, which is nuts. Healthy, healthy girl. Uh, she's got sharp swords, man. Mm-hmm. 8-3. Ugh. Um, okay, dude. 8-3. I have to summon a minion? Okay. Okay. Um, I think... Let me just check my stat line. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play Lisi and Rain, which summon a Wisp. So I'm going to summon a Wisp right here, and then it gets 1-1. One, one. 
Well, then it gets another, yeah, 2-2, two, two, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. So it goes to... No, give uh, this. Give this 2-2. Two, two. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I just want this to be 3, and this to be All right. 3. Ugh. And then this guy gets 2-2. Two, two. Yep. Hmm. Big boy now. That's pretty good. And that's Lizzie and Rain. This card, I've seen this in like almost every Uterra deck. I guess because it's a common, right? Is that what the blue means, Shadow? Uh, the blue dot there on the bottom right kind of corner there. Or middle, next to the name. But this card's cool, man. The way it levels. Common spell, that's what I meant to say, sorry. It's a big decision for the future. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's big Common feature. spells we'll see quite a bit, but I love this one. Ugh. And the artwork's awesome. Okay. Um, that I'm going to just play uh, the Epic Soldier over here. Epoch! If this is your leftmost lane. You put it in your right lane? Oh, so you get... Oh, yeah, yeah, plus three attack. Yeah, it's actually even better. Want the attack or the health? Yeah choose off the attack so you need it over here then oh no no i did yeah i that's i put it where i wanted to put it and then you you said that and i i got confused yeah this is where this is where i, I wanted to block this idiot yep okay so boom right. we fight uh trade here mm -hmm. and then take four damage i take four damage four. yeah okay okay dude nice in that sure. turn move him up in the turn oh. all right Ooh, okay. My gosh, your turn, dude. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Favorite card. Oh. Okay. Oh, this guy. I'm gonna drop this dude and give it three armor. Oh my gosh. Just an eight-one with three armor. He's he's healthy. Yeah, that's big stuff. So that means he needs four damage to die, huh? Yep. Um, uh, okay. Four damage to die, he's doing eight damage. Um, that has to be a minion. What's my first thing here? Summon two wisps? Oh. Wait, you don't have that. What are you talking about? I get to summon up to two wisps if I want. We're not. We're not. Um, we haven't leveled up yet, dog. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I mean, I, I mean, I know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you put that little marker there, and I was like, "What's this guy thinking? <laughs> What's this guy thinking right now?" I'm thinking ahead, dude. I'm thinking ahead. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put out this. Um, we know this guy. We're familiar with this guy. This roaring bar talk. This is swole, swole bear. Give the next creature I play 2-2. Two, two. Deploy. Give another creature 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to give him 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Swole bear. Okay. Swole bear. Um, swole bear. I hate swole bear. Uh, okay. So, um, I guess given this... Ah, oh boy. So you're, you're red. By the way, he's red-blue, guys. Red-blue. Red-blue. I've got to play my best card. I can't, this is my, this card I think is like the strongest card ever. So I have to play it. Um, I'm going to play Energy Prism. Oh, this is and a great this card. This guy, minus seven. And uh, I'm going to upgrade in my hand. Let me check something. I'm going to upgrade this. Oh. I remember this. So, wait, can you go... So, I saw the shadow in the Discord somewhere, and I'll keep playing because we got to keep moving, but um, has it been changed that you can go negative attack? Or does it stop at zero now? Because I know originally it was negative attack, but I'm just curious if it stops at zero now. We're changing it to zero. Oh, okay. Instead of negative. So, you can't, you, you can't dig yourself out of a hole or something, basically. Okay, we'll play that way. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. 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 No problem, man. No problem. Next creature I play gets 2-2, two, two, right? 
Yep. Okay, so this guy's eight damage to my face if I don't do something about it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But he's only got four health. Yep. Um. Okay. So they. Okay. So I'm gonna play this because I think it works. So he gets two two right off the bat from my swole bear. This makes him a four seven. And then he gets three armor. Yep. Which I think will keep him alive and kill your guy. It's that way. Um done. Okay. Okay. So we fight. So this kills that. You kill me. Um, and then this brings him down to two. We'll go to zero here. What, you're doing four damage to me? Eight damage. Eight yeah. damage. And then this will reset to three. Yeah. Okay. Move up. All right. Okay, man. Ending the okay. turn. Boom. All right, we're not leveling up yet, right? Last one in this phase. Okay. I think so. Let's see how fast we can do this. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Ah, missing out on combos, man. Oh, okay. Curious, curious. Yeah, Featherfang is pretty healthy. Featherfang is a healthy dino, for sure. Oh, if this is wounded, it gets plus two. That's right, at the end of turn. So he actually goes up to four because he's wounded. That was the end of the turn. Okay. Yeah, right? He comes back. I think so. That sounds right to me. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, um, okay, so I'm on the taxis. Uh, let's go. Um, what's a gizmo stat line? 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Uh, I don't want to fight you, bro. I don't want to fight you, bro. I do, though. Yeah. I believe you. I believe you. Um, where was the thing? Prox off that. Ah, oh, man, I'm bummed. I missed out. If I knew this is how this deck worked, this would have been great. Um, um okay, so, uh, okay, um, so I'm just gonna pop this guy here. I'm going to put this Spring Dryad over here, and she's done. When another creature comes into play, I gain a health. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this to heal this for two, and then give this four armor this turn. Dang, dude. He's big boy. Okay. Interesting. Why? 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 Why are you? Why are you gonna be like that? Dude, I don't even know, man. Um. I just want to heal up, man. And this guy needs to die. You're just keeping this guy in my way. Is this just a standoff over here? <sighs> I think so. Seems that way. Seems you want to keep it that way. Um. So I guess what I'll do is just keep it a standoff do i care about this no i don't care if he dies just, whatever dude um i'm not gonna die there i don't think so i think we're just gonna keep up the strat so i'm gonna play out a metamind overseer so i'll get two i'll get to gain a health because of her and then i summon a gizmo and gain a health you gain two health i gain two total health yes Oh, she doesn't gain health. Okay, gotcha. no, I gain health. Yes. Um, jeez, man. Okay. Um, Zulok. This is. <laughs> this is real. Just gonna run a bunch of babies, dude. I'm just running a bunch of babies. I think, I will. 
for efficiency. Um, let's show this here. I'm gonna deal five damage to him. What? Um, oh, is he? Deal five damage there. To my meta mind. Deal five to your a guy and five to me. Gotcha. Okay. So that's it, right? So, yeah. So he takes two damage. Mm -hmm. I die here. Uh, you take four to the face. Uh, he'll take two damage. And you take four damage. I take four damage. Okay. okay. Move up. Moving on up. And this guy heals for two because he's wounded. So can he go yeah. over his health total healing? Or just gets plus two because he's. Assume so you give other stuff over their health. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, Boom. In the turn. Nice. He goes up and over. All right. Sounds good. Because I guess if he gets buffed, then. Man, I had a card I wanted to use. I should have used it because I'd like to see what the next. I mean, it needs to keep leveling. I'm sad. I'm sad. Super sad. Um. Wow. All right. It's your turn, man. It'll stop working at some point. Yeah. I mean, unless I buff him, right? Unless I increase his health totals. Oh, that's... Sort of keep hurting him in weird ways. Okay. Um, let's do... Oh, yeah, you're right. It just stops working. Ah. ah. Let's do this. Here. Ah. Ah. Um, I'm gonna pop this guy down. Oh, another one of these guys, dude? You just got your captains out? Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And eight. Dude, warrior strat. What's going on? If I want to put this in front of that guy, hold on. No, no that's not worth it. Okay, let me put it here. Yeah. Uh, you're getting annoying, man. You're getting annoying. Okay, dude. Um. Uh, do I is it four, three? No, that doesn't help there. Um, I guess it could help there. And then I do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do. That stops what? Three damage? You're just doing three damage over here? That's what? That's what they tell me. If you if your thing says uh, if you summon a creature, is that playing a creature? It is, right? I, I think so. If you're talking about for like purposes of, well, I don't know. I mean, this chick is just when it comes into play, so that doesn't matter how it comes into play. She triggers. Play it's means from it, hand. Okay, so play means from hand. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, that's how we're gonna do it. Um. That's how we're gonna play these games, huh? That's how we're gonna do this, huh? Dude, I don't even know, but I'm I'm excited to find out. Put this under there. Ooh, okay, it's even better. Okay, um, oh, I'm on the D. That's right. I'm on the D, man. Ah, oh, he doesn't have what I need. Okay, so. I think what I'm going to do is just keep doing my thing. Um, shoot, so that wouldn't work, what he's looking at. Okay, so I'm going to play uh, Lissy and Rain. I'm just going to summon two Wisps. Um, here. And they're both going to get 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to get two health. Mm -hmm. So this, right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, and I guess here. This guy sucks, but whatever. Okay. And they get 3-3. Three, three. So this is a 5-5? Five, five? Nice. 5-5. Five, five. And I get okay. my 2 health already. Okay. I think I'm just going to do that. 30-minute warning. Judge. Alright, what was this? 
Oh, another robot, 10-1, 10-6 now with, with the armor. Oh my gosh, these things are just annoying, bro. You just dropping big boys on me? Trying. You are. Trying to do something like that. Didn't we just level up so I have this here? I do. Yeah. Just realized that. Dang, 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 dang. Um. All right, what are you doing? So again, this two. So two more. This is eight sixteen. Seven, seven, eight, eight. Uh, dang. Um, dang. Shoot, man. Why are you so big, dude? It's healthy guys. Um. Six. Let's do a ten. Uh, nine. Oh, okay. Um, I don't though. Shoot, the static armor is really annoying, man. <laughs> um, we're just at like a weird standoff right now. It's like, do I jump in and go hard at you, or do I? Yeah, I mean, I think I play this out. Oh, and these wisps are supposed to be back here. That's right. So right. I'm gonna play this out to gain a health. Uh, this says give a creature three armor this turn, so I'm gonna give it here. It's gonna be at six. God. And okay. yeah, that's it. I don't have another mage in play, so boom. I think that's it. Okay. So you choose, I guess the. Kill here. Kill here. Um, here, I deal five to you, and I don't. I take die, any. right? Oh no, I don't. You just take five. Yeah, I just take five. I'll go down to this three. This will go away now. Um, this dies, but puts you down to two. This dies, but puts you down to two. Um, and then this, I guess, puts you at two as well. Okay, cool. And then move up. This guy gains two health. And he goes back to three armor now, right? Cause... He goes back to three armor, correct. That was a static thing. You are correct. Yeah. And they all move up. Awesome. Right? Cool. Yeah. In turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shadow's watching our gameplay time here. This is for the OP events. OP event tests. Okay. I've got the... I've got the goods. I've got the forge. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Interesting. This little feather fang is annoying, dude, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you're keeping him alive with bonus armor buffs and healing. Like, yeah, that's a, a really good modifier on him. Like, uh, to be honest, that mo modifier is, like, sick. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, you don't have anything crazy here. Uh, these guys are just, you're just doing this warrior strat, man, and it's getting old. Getting old. Yeah, man. What? Interesting. What? Whoa. Okay, well, I wish I did. I don't have the proc for that. Dang it. Um, I don't have space for that. Okay. Uh, I think that might be a thing, maybe? Um, you don't have any weird things. What is this? Five... Eight. He's a five eight. I guess. I guess what I'm doing is I'm going. Man, I wish I'd done that strat. That would have been a great strat. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put another feather fang up here. Odd. With five armor. Static armor. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm gonna play this guy here. Uh, this guy. That was my buddy. Um. And that's it for now. Two ten. He's in the way. He's gonna. He's gonna hurt me, dude. You're in the way. He does exist in you're, your way. You're in my way. Um. So what do I do? You know. What do I do with you in my way? Um, I think what I'm going to do is play Heavy Artillery to give this guy 5 attack, which makes him 9. 
and I make him negative five attack. Okay. All right. Wait, who's who's the big boys up in here? Two. What is this attack? Five. I could make him a zero. Um, it's either him a zero or. Ooh, I could just make him five, huh? Because otherwise you're gonna kill me. This guy is anyway. Actually, I'll make I'll make this a five. I do like the idea of just erasing this and just letting him chill. But I'm kind of liking keeping my feather fangs up. Yeah, so I'll make him five. Okay, done. That's probably the bad choice, but whatever. Your turn. Hmm. Oh, seven, huh? I need to find a way to get this big. I need to find a way to get this bigger. Hmm. I've just got these standoffs. It's an interesting question. Okay. Dude, feather fangs never die. Feather fangs never die. That was your. That was your last act. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do Feather Fangs never die. Jeez. Feather Fangs are just the worst <laughs> things I've ever seen in my life. Um okay. Okay. God. Alright, let's do this. Um Uh, uh, you're annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna take seven damage, dude. Are you kidding? Yeah. Yeah. So you okay. don't get to play free spells, dude. All right. It's probably be your choice. Um, no, no. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna kill this. No, I'm gonna hit this for two. Sorry. Dang. Um, then. Ah, God. Then that's it. Okay. All right. We fighting? All right, so these yep. will trade, right? Yep. Those trade out. This dies. dies. Yeah. Oh, and you don't take any damage? Nope. Uh, five damage to you, and I die. Yeah. And then this is two damage to you, and I die. And then you die. Let's die. I didn't take enough to gain my health back. So that guy stays put. All right, in turn. Okay. All right. This is the last turn of this uh, this thing here. This phase. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's your turn, dude. It's my turn. Um, where was where was this? Where was this card? <laughs> Last phase, huh? Got buried. I'll give this minus ten attack. Ah, this card, best card, one of the best cards. Um, uh, zero then, it out, just zero me. I will upgrade. Jeez, Let me double check to make sure that this is what I think this trick actually does before I completely screw everything. Matt and I think. We're saying oh. this is probably one of the best common cards in the game, Shadow. Nerf it! <laughs> um, this is I so think good. I'm going to so pitch. Good. This is hard. Let's pitch Monkly to upgrade him. Okay. Now you got a big arrogant breaker, dude. You're all about the arrogance. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't think it's terribly good? It's it just zeroes out your attack. You just like blanks me out. Like my dino is hogging my lane here now. I, I love yeah, I love that card, man. I mean, if I had purple team and I wanted to sack something, it just makes my choice for me, I guess. But um, a three, three. Uh, there's that, I guess. Okay, seven. So he's six health, five attack. Yeah. 
Um, man, feel slow. What's he doing? Five attack. This thing is just annoying. Um, okay, so. Where's the guy? What was I just looking at? Oh, I must have gotten rid of it. Okay, so this guy, and then... I guess that is what I'll be doing, but that just seems... Oh, just get out of the way, dude. <laughs> this armor is so dumb. Yeah, um, yeah, I know the feeling. And that attack, <laughs> the, the armor is just... It's like, I need to fight. Yeah. But I guess it's choosing between the two attack procs. So I think I'm going to toss this guy in. Armor Justicar. He's coming in. He's got armor, of course. This is Sanctum, dude. We're just playing Sanctum cards here. All right. Okay. Okay. Just build a Sanctum wall, man. Man, do I deeply invest in the future? You should no. always invest in the future. Dude, oh, I'm just gonna guy. I'm gonna drop this homeboy here. Eight attack? Yeah, so it goes up to fourteen. Um then I'm going to demoralize to remove his ability. So I'm that I'm assuming that removes his armor. Yes, I think it just blanks out this gives me five. <laughs> what a baby, dude. Then uh I guess I just use this to deal two to you because that was this is my last opportunity to use it before the turn ends. Sure. Here you go. What a baby, just keeping this guy alive, man. What is your deal, huh? Dude. What is your deal? You don't get to play two featherborn itty armored idiots <laughs> and ask me about keeping my guys alive. Come on, uh, that's like the what? most insane modifier in those things. What is your deal, bro? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw out now. I'm gonna do this. Uh, I wanted to do something else. I mean, I could do this, but I have to put this in front of this because this stupid five attack still annoying me. Dry Dryad's coming out. I'm gonna pop this. Summon two wisps. Okay. Okay. Um. So I get four health. Yep. I like it. Um. And they don't get any sort of buff, so. Yeah, I think that's it, dude. So, fight me, bro. I munch on that, dude. Take, Take your two, two damage. Oh, they're in the back, though. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be dead anyway. This would be back here. Slam her for five. And I take... Two? I die. You die? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Oh, no. Yeah, because I only have six total. Yeah, yeah, you, you dead. Uh, two oh. damage. Kill that. Go take two. Yep. Um, kill that, and I take one, two. Yeah, seven attack. Okay. And nothing. <laughs> then he chills, dude. Dang it! See, that's okay. why that card's good, I man. Up. I move on up. Then we're leveling up our Forgeborns, dude. Leveling them up. Leveling them up. Wow, this is kind of like stalemate game. We're at level two, and we're still up near 50 health. That's true. That's a little crazy. Okay, I've got the forge. Ah, oh, Luca card wanted to make it come into my hand now, huh? I'm getting all my cards that were like level ones that I didn't see. The five cards. That's nice. That's nice and convenient. Um. Uh, Fourteen, dude. Getting real tired of that. So this is just kind of a dead card here, unless I can buff it. Um, so really annoying, dude. Really, really annoying uh, is what you've done. Um, how am I going to do that? Oh, that's nice. That's a nice card. Okay, so I get. Am I getting ahead of myself? Oh, what's my ability? That's a good thing. Ooh. Buff the jams. Okay. 
Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start by playing out the Steel Die Researcher. I'm just gonna override this dude because this guy's just in my way. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Researcher's in. Yes, it is. It's very nice. It's one of my favorites, Ivan. Is it Ivan? M yeah. Ivan? Ivan B? I'm sorry if I'm trying to say your name. If I'm offending. I apologize. Jeez. But okay. I think, uh... Oh, that's annoying. Okay. We're gonna be I've okay. I've gotta fit this now. Everything's gonna work out. We're having this homeboy here. It goes to 10. This goes to 9. Uh... It gets 14 armor. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. What? Um, it's and getting it's getting old. Yeah, I think I think you can go. It's so annoying. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is just. Oh, I gotta lay. I gotta. I gotta stay. I gotta stay in this, dude. I gotta stay in this. Um. Okay, uh, I think what I do is I go, I'm going to play this in this order. I'm going to go Lizzie and Rain, level three. Yep. And I summon three Wisps. One, two, three, which gives me six health. Mm -hmm. Right? And he gets uh, nine, nine, nine added to yep. him. So he's at 12. Not that it's going to matter because he's going to die because you're m infinite armor. Uh, he's a 915. So am I going to die? Actually, I'm not going to die. You're just no. not going to die. Um, and then my minions get 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Oh, man, you keep ripping that stuff together. It's getting real. So. Real I, yucky I can, to me. I can, get, I can go bink, bonk, bonk, think, uh, bonk, bonk, right? Okay. Um, and then what I could do is I could give one of my creatures uh, six attack, and if it's a minion, you may strike an enemy creature. I just really want to clear you out of my way, dude. Uh, this guy is annoying, and I want him dead. This guy's also annoying, and I want him dead. This guy's just in the way, but he's going to be dead. Um, who's the bigger annoyance? Well, 14's bad. And I'm not going to die to you here. So let's just go. I'm going to proc this. And would that kill you here? Yeah, I'm going to have to give this 6 attack. And then strike you right here. I can strike any enemy creature I want, but I'm just going to hit you for 13. Now, strike is the damage direct shot. Mm -hmm. well, how much yeah. health did you have? No, oh. I'm doing 13 damage to you. Oh, because it gives you the six. Yeah, yeah, because it's a minion, so I gave it the six extra, and I can strike immediately. Mm -hmm. Check base wisp stats. Uh, it's two two. Two two. So okay. I use my forge born ability. Pretty early in this phase or in this cycle, but what up, Asmati Games? So my go then. Yes, sir. For one, two, two. Oh, God. Your warriors never die! <laughs> um. Die! Why would you die? I'm gonna give that minus 15 attack. Uh, and I'm gonna upgrade. Good, it's out of your deck now. Thank God. Of course, we're like. What is your ability? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna upgrade. Uh, I. God, this card in my what hand? I guess, I guess you get to know it. I don't, I don't know if you actually get to know it. Technically, it's still in my hand, but but you has to go here. It has to go. I, I, I believe it's. It says will at the end of the turn. I don't know how it would work. Oh, in that. I see what you're saying. Oh, I see what you're saying because you have the way you upgrade it is do that, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. I guess we're done. 
That was it? I went one, two, three, four. Okay, so no damage, seven damage to you. Uh, this guy dies, I take two. Uh, you're annoying. So you take three. You're down to three and I die, right? Mm -hmm. I perfectly dead. You take, take no damage. No. Yeah, I take none, you take nine. Yeah. Okay. Then you move on up. Dang, man. Uh, you don't move up? You do oh, move yeah, I move up. up. Yeah, I was wondering if you move up. Okay, boom. Uh, yeah, I'd love to, Ismati. Uh, I'm still, we're still trying to figure out our plans to go to PAX Unplugged this year. I know at Gen Con, they were saying that this is going to be around. If you find Justin Gary, he's going to have some decks with him. They're going to announce that later this week, more detail of how you can get your, go play some physical Key Forge or Soul Forge if you're going to be at uh, PAX Unplugged. But I'd love to play this at, or I mean at Gen Con this week, but I'd love to play this at PAX Unplugged, man. We'll have to see hmm. what Stoneblade does. I'd like to talk to... We'll, we'll see what they do. Maybe Shadow will tell us things about Pax Unplugged. <laughs> it's your turn, dude. <laughs> Man, why you gotta change all my stuff to zero, bro? Uh, it's just, just, you know. You know. Oh, God. Uh, this feels like we're playing Sanctum versus Sanctum right now with these... <laughs> With his armor crap. <laughs> oh, boy. I think I'm going to play out... This. Oh, man. Dragon eggs. It's just a dragon egg, but he turns into something crazy, right? He turns into a dragon. <laughs> Dracarys. Yeah. Okay. Um... Well, you've zeroed out my other guy. I'm just replacing guys all day now. Oh, my gosh. That is awesome. Oh, my gosh. I like it. But I don't want this here now. But it must be there. Oof. Oof. Oh, wow. I like this. This has got to come out. But I think it's... Oh. Oh. Oh, why doesn't this have aggressive? Okay. Um, all right. So who's coming out? Um, okay. So I'm going to pop this out, dude. This is coming out on D. So it's going to replace this wisp. If I have 30 or more health, it gets 10 attack and breakthrough. So it's a 20 dryad. A 20 attack and breakthrough. When another of my creatures comes into play, I gain 3. Plus, I get two because of this. Other Dryad. Dryad Strat! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. I'll play this here. I'm going to give this plus 12 attack. Uh, that's some... That's a spiky egg, dude. I'm going to give her zero attack. No! <laughs> Dude, super savage, man. That's sadness. Oh, she was awesome. Uh, but if I get some attack, it still has breakthrough. Um, so what does it do? I wonder could you go to... I just gain health. Uh, um, four health. I need to do three damage here. This does five damage. Um, uh... Hmm. Interesting. Um, that's an interesting thing. Do I do that? Oh, I could do that, too. But it's such a baby play. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I may do that, though. Okay, that's... We're trading here. We're trading here right yep okay and I'm gonna do this then uh, okay so I'm gonna pop this out uh, I'm on defense right um, popping this out stabilizing inventor I may summon a gizmo um, I'm not gonna summon a gizmo 
Uh, may return a creature its original attack and health. I'm going to put this to 14 attack. 10 attack, sorry. Okay. What? No, he... What? And plus I get 5 health. That just makes it like a... That, that just, I think, makes it a, a... Oh, I don't have to put that there, right. 20. I think it just makes it a 20 again. Why is that? Because her ability is passive. Oh, you think so? Oh, okay. That says it, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Oh, it is. is back to 20. Okay, okay, sorry. I was just going by the basic stat line. Because original... In fact, I'm not even sure I actually dropped her to zero originally. I think I dropped her printed attack to zero, and then she passively still had 10. Now that I'm looking at it. I mean, I don't know. Set of creatures attack to zero is interesting. Oh, is that true? Passive buffs, so if I'm not if sure. that's true, then I would have played this on this. I don't. I, I don't know. That's true. That's an interesting thing to say. Yeah, would it be that way, Shadow? What do you think? That's a good thing to ask. We'll play it this way. We'll play it this way for now, because I think that's to be discussed. But you're right. Would it be a passive 10 damage that she just sits on? Because I think that applies to this, too, if I was able to go back to 20. Okay. Good point, though. She was dropped to 10. But it's unclear. Okay, so I would have 10. If that's the case, I would have put this back to 0. Are you okay playing it that way, Matt? Sure, man. And I'd leave her at 10. Okay. So this hits here. Okay, this hits here. And I die. Yeah, you die, I go to 2. This hits here. I go to 1. Well, I guess it could have popped again. These kill each other. These two? Yep. That kills um, that. This guy just dies. And that Moves is up. it. Okay. Okay. Nice. Inning turn. Okay. Boom. All right. Okay. Nice. All right. Last turn of this phase. Okay. Gaining health for days, dude. Just going. Bedtime for me. No more rulings. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, man. Thanks for hanging out with us late tonight. Appreciate it. Oh, man. Probably should be deploy, says Ivan. Yeah, I mean, this passive thing's pretty sick. Hmm. So it's my turn. Okay. Uh, what is this? It's just a creature? Okay. Um, that's so brutal, man. Like I, I just that those Lysian rains were bad, but paired with that other with the dude you had it. Like I, I haven't been able to. It your tokens, your your three, your two or three free tokens have been so massive. It's wiping out my card. Right. I just that's what my only way to stay ahead of you though with this with the cards I have. I have to pop. No. I have to pop zoo. You've been ahead of me all game. Yeah. The crambo. What's going on? Yeah, that's true. I mean, well, these being able to bank on health gain. Yeah, and no, then keep no, guys. No, you've been ahead of me all game, having nothing to do with health game. Even if you hadn't had these out, you've been ahead of me all game because you played Lucy and Rain three times. Yes, you're right. But you also played Zero My Attack three times. That's both out of our decks. We no longer have our bomb spells, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, so five damage, nine damage to my face. Uh, that needs to stop. That needs to go away. Um, he's doing nine. He's doing five. This little guy is just so annoying. I'm sick of it. Uh, how am I dealing with you? Um, I think I'm dealing with you. Ugh, two health. Gosh, they have like no health left. Why don't you just die, dude? It's a good question. It's a good okay. question. I'm coming out. Boom. He's back. Armored oh, feather fang. Uh, uh huh. This is. Uh -huh. <laughs> So he's got seven passive. Okay. Okay. Um, heal your life. Like five. Uh, sixty-five. I'm just gonna kill that. Listening rain is super good. You're gonna kill it. I don't think this deck has any scientists in it. I kept waiting to see if I could like pair it with the scientist because I think it's a really cool card. Oh, choose two instead. Yeah, yeah. So you're doing four okay. damage to this. Yeah. I don't mean, I, I, I see one scientist in the deck, but I, I didn't get him at the same time. Right. 
Okay, so you killed my dude. Mean? Mm -hmm. Mean? 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 Sure. Mean? So you're doing five damage to my face with this guy? That's mm -hmm. cool. That's cool. That's cool. I have a chance to sort of get some pressure on you or, like, deal with this guy. Um, let's deal with this guy. Let's just build a Sanctum wall, dude. I've learned this playing sa uh, Sanctum. With Sanctum, you just play Sanctum. That's... Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> it's, it's like if you could build armor, you just build armor on Sanctum turns until the game ends. Unfortunately, uh, I have to trade my creature for this. Oh, so like your dude. creature that oh, like... Oh, plus I get three, three health. That's the difference. My guy's just going to kill yours. Yours has netted you something like 10 health. Yep, at least. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Not even compared with the other okay. one. All right, so that's it. So we trade here. Yep. This uh, guy does nothing. This guy hits you for two. If you just then, and then I heal, heal up to so, six. Four I heal up to maximum. normal. I would just go back. Oh, six? So, yeah, I would gain. I'd go over 14. For 14. Dang. Okay. Okay, this guy's annoying. Okay, in turn. I think we're... Here we go, last phase. Last phase. Okay. Ready that forge board. All right. Interesting. Proposing that was... What? Cre replace the creature on the west. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I wasn't reading. I was trying to figure out how to read my ability. <laughs> Dang, dude, you just take away all my attack, man. That's so annoying. Just die! It's like, fine, I'll just keep gaining health to beat you. That's that's the way this has got to work. Hmm. Hmm. Ugh, your ability here is just so annoying. I just, I just have to build a wall and hold on. I think is all I have to do, because you're just going to zero me out. Hold on. So let's see. Let's see what you do. I mean, I think that's all I can do. No, no sorry, Shadow Man. You guys have been doing a lot of work on this stuff. This is all in development. It's awesome. Southern oh. Death Minutes. That's right. Um, so this is it. You're putting this out with a billion yeah. armor. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have a billion armor. Um... I have to do like a billion to that, right? Uh, okay. Where was that? Oh, that was my ability. Place a creature with a wisp. Creatures opposing that wisp get breakthrough. Okay. That's nice to sort of get ahead with something. Um. Oh, man. That would have been nice to have out like earlier in this game. Um. Are you killing me? 12 attack? No. Yep. No, I have... Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I would do this. I'm not really psyched about this guy. Um, I guess I'm going to put this out over here. And I'm going to give this guy 10 armor. Okay. This turn he has 10, so he'll go back down to 5. Um, Building a wall, man. So he is a 19. Okay. <laughs> this armor, uh, this armor face off is so stupid. <laughs> well, I'm I'll gonna... gain armor. Well, I'll gain armor. Well, then I'll just add 10 more armor. <laughs> yeah, it's. Are you going to hit rough. me for five negative erase mark? Are you just going to hit me? Yeah. Straight across? Mm-hmm. Okay. A 7-7 seven, seven Schmore dra Drain Dragon? <laughs> Scorch yep. Mane Dragon? Yep. Okay. Um. So I'll die. He'll take damage. He's a level one, level two... Um, I mean, okay, dude. Oh, this guy should be down here, by the way. I keep putting them up a little too far. 
Oh, it's on the watch list, Shadow. Okay. It's good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, it felt, it felt real, real tough. Thirteen. Minion. So I got to do thirteen. Minion. Okay, so I will give. Um, oh no, it doesn't do that. Doesn't do what I think it was gonna do. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do damage to you here, huh? Um, so I'm gonna play Savage Oath, and I'm gonna give this three three then. Okay. Um, so this goes to eleven. Uh, seventeen. And then my ability replace creature with wisp creature with arrows again for this turn. Um. I just want to wisp you, bro. Yeah. But I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Well. Okay. Good. Fight me. Oh, I do it. Uh, kill this. Dead. Um, I hit this guy for nothing. He hits me for nothing. <laughs> I take eleven. Take eleven. And then I lose ten. So I go back to five. Okay. Nice. All right. All right. In turn. Okay. Here we go, dude. I think... Wait. Why do I have seven cards in my... Oh, you do too. Oh, because we're at the end. We're at the very end. This is the last turn of this phase. Okay. I don't know why we have seven. I would think we each have five, but... Yeah, what? Why would we have seven cards here? I don't... I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know. Did something happened that makes that seven? FB ability makes it so? Forgeborn? Huh? Does it? Which Forgeborn ability? We're both on our level three. They don't have anything to do with our draw. Yeah, I'm not following what would make it do that. Okay, I'll just wonder why plus so i don't know what so what so oh, short for you have one more level three cards left one more turn right mm -hmm. yeah okay um this oh is right because because some of the cards are burned out of our deck so it would be 10 but the th the three costs we played a couple times. Oh, I see. It. Oh, I see. Oh, because we have one more turn left after this one. I get you. I get you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I get you. Sorry. Totally misunderstood right. what you were saying. Oh, the last board of comment was about the last turn. All right. Okay, so how did you get... Oh, this is just 12. And this guy's just a 7-7. Seven, seven. All right. Um, that doesn't help me. Uh, plus 10. Okay. This guy gets break... Okay, so I'm on the forge. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna play this guy here. Just a five-five with breakthrough. If it's unopposed, gain three health. Okay. Okay. It's gaining health, dude. It's gonna try to gain health. I will. Yeah. Oh, we went over your time, man. I apologize. It's okay. I figured it would happen. <laughs> um, this guy, I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna. What? Play this. Oh, mobility too. Yeah. Would you like to take ten damage? If they don't, you can play a spell. I'm gonna take ten damage. Why wouldn't I? I, I know. I I would never not. <laughs> I was at I seventy-eight. Think when I played against this card, I feel like this card's a really cool idea, but it's almost never yes. <laughs> Even if it's damage, it's a free card is so big in this game. You know. Shoot. Um. So you're gonna fight me. You're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Um. Dags. Dude, why you gotta kill me like that? You got in my way, bro. 
Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to play this. I'm going to play Heavy Artillery. I'm going to say minus 10 attack there. Uh, and I die, I don't think. I think if I... Well, they. I believe if I give him to plus 10, even though I die, I think you still would take the damage, right? I would assume so. So I could get 10 damage off and die after this move. But then I die and I lose that ability. But yeah, I'll do that. Let's give him 10. So he's at 15. Okay. Um, so then I have to play this and kill that. Oh, man. <laughs> Shoot. I forgot you might have that card. Plow. Um, hey, got me. And, uh, and that's it. Uh, okay. So uh, this moves up. This hits me for seven. Mm -hmm. Two, four. Uh, what happens here? I do nothing to you. you, and you hurt me for... No, I kill you. You kill me dead? Oh, yeah, you do. I'm dead, and um, you take 11. Yeah. Okay. Last turn, dude. Last turn. Oh, come on, man. This is my bottom two cards. I just want to see this fucking dragon. Wait, oh, your dragon's in the bottom? The bottom? Wait, what? Oh, no. I guess it's over here in my discard. Wait, what? Where's my dragon? Well, you got the... You got... Oh, he's over here in my... Yeah, never mind. He's in my upgrade pot. Yeah. Anyway. Um, that's a bummer. Your 13-13 dragon? Yeah. Wow. This hand is really, really, really bad. Winner of a hand. Winner hand. Winner hand. Mine is not a winner hand. Oh, what is my ability? Okay, I mean the game's the game's over based on the health totals, but we can play it out. Um, your call, man. Your call. For fun, I guess. <laughs> play that. Veteran virtuoso is coming out. Um, okay. Uh, I can't bank on that, can I? Um, no. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw... I'm gonna throw this armor just a car here, who would get seven armor passive. Oh, he's in the back. Okay. Um... Uh... I guess I will play this, and I'll deal four to you, you as a player. Four to me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I'll use my ability, because it's my last chance, to knock both of these back and make them go down ten attack. No! Down to two. one attack? Yeah. Yeah. And this guy goes to two attack? Yep. Dang, dude. Okay, push me back. So I'm now not on the yep. point. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the last turn, right? Um, yep. Dang, man. Why you got to stop me from doing extra damage? You know. You know. <laughs> all right, who's doing all the damage here? I think it was... This guy was doing 8. This guy's doing 12. So I would mm -hmm. step in the way uh, with this guy. There we go. And I would I replace, guess. then I'd pop this, replace this with a wisp. Yep. And whatever, I have breakthrough now. <laughs> it wouldn't have banked on it. And I got breakthrough, whatever. Boom. So you would what have ended you, up. What, get, what gives you, oh, right, yeah, it, yeah. Yeah. Sure, it doesn't matter, it's turn. So I take okay. 310 damage, I would be at 40. 40. And then you're at 17. Boom! That's the game! <laughs> the, all the healing, dude. All the healing. That game was way different game than the last one, though, for sure. That game... And I apologize for it going longer than uh, we expected it to, Maddie. And I pr appreciate you fitting in the second one there. But, man, that, that second game went a lot longer. I think because it felt like a Sanctum game, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things where I, I have played through and won a couple games before the timer runs out but um yeah it's 
I don't think that was like the sanctum part of it, you know? No, no. It seemed, it seemed like it about normal. Yeah, I mean, like the second game wasn't too. The second game was about what an an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I, I mean, I I think it was two different types of games, right? Two different types of games. Very aggressive, very kind of quicker. I think style game at the other thing, and then this one kind of went to sudden death. I think it's cool that the timer exists. I think it's a awesome timer. Um, I I got total bank on the health totals in this deck uh, using Uterra and stuff like that. Did you? What do you think of all the armor? What do you think of all that stuff? What do you think? Do you think? What do you think of someone building a deck that's all about? I mean, blue green, build armor, tons of health. Do you think that's? It's fine. I, I don't I don't have any problem like with it mechanically. I mean, right. I think that the the couple things that 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 Lysian Rain card, especially when you got it with this dude a couple times, created um, such unfavorable exchanges for me, like card advantage, because I was having to sacrifice entire cards to kill like little token creatures that right. you created while also buffing their dad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Twice. So you get those twice. So that that's just intense. That Lysian Rain card is is very. Very intense, especially compared with this. Yeah, it's great. But uh, the the first game, I think, is one of those ones where it's like, um, the first game was the bigger the bigger issue for me around the idea of what happens if one deck is able to play a free spell or two, I think literally every turn for you, and then I played one free spell that game, and that was the one where like that one getting me getting blown out made a, make a lot a lot of sense. Right. Um. So, but otherwise, like mechanically, fundamentally, the idea of like the armor is is cool. The idea of like tokens and buffing tokens like none, nothing about it mechanically feels bad to me like um you know just a couple like numbers tweaks figuring it out and and that's where i'm wondering if it will hit a point where like free spells maybe like you get limited or capped at like once per turn yeah something like that like because it does feel like that's the type of thing that that could Roll. blow blow the other side out like if they're rocking a deck with no free spells you've got like a lot then i mean our argument is like oh you, you know who says you're gonna get that nuts draw five cards you know that all combo off free spells you know looking for take five damage get the free you know, i mean it happened to us in the 2v2 game with your buddies he was able to start rolling it it's like when you can roll it off it's great i think an argument could be made that like it's rng if you get them all but when you do it's a no. little bit nuts right well my well my argument is that that's happening in in basically random in, in draft we're not even drafting in random, I think it will absolutely happen in sealed. Oh yeah, I think that like in sealed, people are going to have those double decks that they're just like, let's just find a bunch of uh, free spells, especially. Um, and there's going to be a lot more synergy in sealed because people are going to target those decks. Like I, I need that. I love this that card, the upgrade card, but w with only having one scientist in the deck, it's not as good. But in sealed, I'd be able to pair it with a deck that maybe had more scientists. So I think in sealed, that's where you're going to see, or I mean, in constructed. Sorry. In constructed, where you're going yeah, to see the problem I think you meant with like free spells popping off like crazy. Like, in yeah. sealed, it can happen. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I agree. I think in sealed, it's working, and in this in this vacuum kind of thing we're doing here. But the yeah, no. If if I'm going to build a deck, I mean, like I said there, the first thing that comes to my hand, the first keyword I'm looking for is free, and I go, that's the easiest yeah. combo, best value, free cards win games in this so far. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think you're right. I think I think the number of free spells can come down. I think it's a cool mechanic to be able to look for those kind of combos and bank on it and and pick a deck that you want to work off it. I mean, uh, Myvin saying in, in chat like free that deck versus the health armor deck, what would win? I still think free. I mean, it depends on the cards, right? It depends on the cards that you're blasting. If you're able to get like that uh, that one card we're saying that that common where it knocks it down if it's electric whatever it is. And you're able to get like clears, you know, uh, in your free spells. I think it's nuts. If you don't have those and you're getting free spells, I think the the, the armor health deck could beat it, no matter how spells, as long as. Oh, I don't think. I I think that the. I'm not saying that specific top, deck. I'm saying the mechanic. I think your first deck would have beaten your the second. Like I think that I think the armor faster. health is, is cool, but it was also that um, you kept. Uh, you kept getting those armored dudes and then you would have a buff to take them like right slightly above it. Right. And I was doing the same thing too with warriors. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like uh, that's part of the reason that this felt as strong as or impressive as it did is that you, you were able to take them. I would try to counter them with something that was like just enough to kill them. Then you take them right back above the threshold and then that would keep happening. So it, it made it, but all of that was kind of carried off of the back of the tokens. I had to spend so much time dealing with, three seven seven tokens and sacking creatures so that I, my health pool didn't plummet 
that I had to leave your 7-3 healer on the board. Yeah. And that netted you something like 6 to 12 health. And then the second one comes out, and I'm like, I just had to blow my last two turns killing tokens, who also buffed the dude in the first lane to like a 12-17. So it was, I don't think that it's, I think that it was like a, a good flow of your hand. You know, you, you played it out well. You played the right stuff. And um, there was just times where it was just, I, I couldn't swing enough DPS to smash through the armor at the right times when you didn't have the answer. So yeah. they just hung out. And I mean, you didn't have any, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, that's something. I think you're right with the free card thing. I mean, every, a lot of these games that I've been playing, the ones I have played, I feel like getting ahead, I mean, just getting on the board with lots of dudes wins games. Like, it's like, I, at first I felt like there's no big sweepers, but it's getting creative with sweeping and stuff that you can make work like I did in that one deck where I had to sweep, kill myself off in order to pull it off with a spell combination. But like, I don't know. Like, I, I was like, man, it feels like I win a lot when you get a lot of minions. Minions are super powerful on this as well. And I'm, I'm curious to see if, like, the zoo strat is maybe too strong in this at times based on what could counter it. The minions are cool, but the, uh, the, it's, well, I mean, like we just heard the other day, they, they nerfed the botanist, and the botanist was something like, yeah, summon two of them, give them plus two, plus two, then plus four, plus four, then plus eight, plus eight at level three. Yeah. And that, I think he said, went down to two, three, four. Right. right. This is, Lisi and Grain's the same idea there, where it's like, you're summoning because I think the botanist just buffs the creatures. Uh, it, right. He might summon one. I can't remember. Right, but right, right. Lisi and Rain dropping out one, two, or three of them, like three seven sevens of one card. Right. Um, and that's assuming you have no other synergy, like the guy on the board who gets buffed by him. Right. Right. Like that is that's the type of thing that your opponent because because AOE is not very prevalent in this game, so it's kind of hard to to punish when you can only play one, one card. <laughs> Like, yeah, you can't... You can't yeah, dump a Green bunch of dudes. Oh, sorry. I was just saying, we, Green goes both wide and tall at once. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. That's what's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally right. And if you can only counter me by going one dude to block three dudes, it's like, uh, well, yeah. I have three dudes. I could, wish I could play them all, but I can't because they're not free. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> just like, well, these wisps. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you're 100% right. Like, if Lysian Rain, that one card you're talking about, these specific cards, I mean, this is why they're doing this, this is why they're developing it, this is why they're looking at them. And Shadow even said in chat, we're keeping, that's on our watch list to see how people right. are using it. And yeah, every game I've seen, I've seen them play on stream when they play that card, I'm like, it's, it's like such a, it's a great card. Um, yeah, and, and I'm not saying there's not minion clears, I just think there's uh, interesting ways to get the AoE and if you can make it work. Um, you can do it, but I think it is pretty powerful. Minions win games, dude. Zoo, zoo. Zulok yeah. all day. Well, thanks for playing, Matt. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for staying late, dude. I appreciate it. We stayed a lot longer than we meant to tonight, guys, but we hope you guys liked Soulforge Fusion. Thank you to Stoneblade for all the support. We'll see you guys Wednesday. We'll be taking on Stoneblade. This was practice for then, so we know we're going to be playing a green Lysian deck with Drix in the blue deck. <laughs> That's what we're going to try to grab for uh, that day, but I figure it's probably going to be sealed, and we're just going to have to look for those cards, dude. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have to look we're for those see. cards. That's how we're going to win. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. We're going to get out of here. Appreciate the support. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to play some, I think, Richard Garfield's Rogue Book for a little bit uh, midday. We're going to have some fun because Richard Garfield. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And also Hero Realms updates and stuff. So we'll see what happens. Uh, peace, good gaming, everyone. We appreciate everyone checking it out and staying late with us. And Maddie, thanks for joining me, man. Peace, good gaming, everyone. Bye. Good night. Later.